It's time already. We were sitting here sharing all our uh, royalty stories and, you know, like how when I made dress for Princess Margaret and I met Princess Diana. All my stories, obviously. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Hello, good morning. It's the Royal Wedding Day. And whether you're a royalist or not, I think we should all wish them a very, very happy day. Uh, kind of a fabulous day, aren't they? And a lovely life together. There you go. Right. Do you like to look at today's menu this Saturday morning? Got an exciting show for you today. Here we go. Oh. Three, two, one. There we go. Coming up to say, now, the thing is, that's Ginger Mike's fault, right? And I heard, I heard Hannah say to him earlier, well, I won't say what she said, because it sounded a little bit rude, but she was saying, have you got the menu? He's like, yeah, yeah. Anyway, coming up to say with me, John Scott, same quarter. Eight o'clock, got fabulous fabrics. Nine o'clock, we've got the wedding ring quilt with Sally Stevens. Uh, Sally's brand, she's a brand new member of the family. She started to say, I think you're going to love her. I think you're going to love her. Ten o'clock, sewing machines and fleece fabrics. I know, odd mixture. And then at 11 o'clock, we've got the patchwork jewel cushion. Oh, cushions. Oh, she's making more than one with Sally Stevens again. It's her own design, that one. So very, very quickly, the uh, quilt that Sally's going to be doing at nine o'clock is... Oh, I thought it was one on a... Uh, draped? Can we see the other one, please? There you go. I only have to show you that. It's nobody's house. Don't worry, none of us live in a big grand house like that. This is where Hayley, Hannah and little Paul and I used to work and there's a big posh reception. And Hayley ran down there the other day with a few of our quilts and draped them and took pictures and ran out again because you're not supposed to do it because it's, it's a venue that you can rent to, for weddings and things like that. Looks lovely though, doesn't it? Anyway, so that, that there is nine o'clock. And then the cushions at, at Sally, I said that, Sally's designed this. Sally, you're saying... Um, it comes in uh, grey, diamond, it comes in purple, amethyst, and it comes in blue, sapphire. And it's foundation paper pieces. So, Shimoya Mary, if you're watching, you will love that. OK, right, now, I have an announcement to make. To celebrate the royal wedding... Oh, I was having finished... <laughs> I'll forget the whole speech that I learnt then, free P&P all weekend. Free, now, it finishes at midnight on Sunday. Midnight on Sunday, but free P&P &P all weekend. You have to do anything, it'll happen automatically. Now, I need to warn, I'll tell you, it'll still stay on the screen here, free P&P uh, uh, P &P at 2 95 but it's actually free until midnight on Sunday night. Ooh, that blimey, that wasn't a sensible thing to do, was it? Um, no, we'd love you to get in touch. We would love you to get in touch. Oh, look at me on the side here, that's quite nice, isn't it? You can go to our website, www.sewingquarter.com. Uh, oh, look, that machine deal coming up later. Oh, they've, they've stolen my thunder. So Mike presses the button too quickly, and now they've stolen my thunder about the machine deal as well. Anyway, not to worry. Go to the website, click on Watch Today's Show Live. What you will need to do is you will need to log in at this point. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything, you just have to put your email address in. You see the box there where it says message the studio? Write a message there, keep it to 140 uh, letters, um, or you can shout hello, like Hannah just has. Um, and send it, it'll go through to producer Hannah upstairs and she'll send it through to my tablet on the desk. But you can keep writing as long as you like at your end, but it does cut you off at our end over, after 140 letters. Now, products from today's show, if you carry on down the screen, they are... Well, I didn't have those just today, did I? They're from the day before. No, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Anyway, all of those should disappear in a minute. Is there anything from mine from yesterday? No. So all of my stuff from yesterday's disappeared. That's from Natasha's show the other day. They've got, obviously got stuck, but each day more things get stuck, don't they? That Jane Alcock Liberty Cushion Quilt, I haven't had that for about six weeks, have I? Anyway, 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 moving on. You can click on it and you can pop it in your basket. Talk about popping your basket. If you scroll to the top of the page, see there where the... Uh, oh, no, I did have those, the ironing rulers yesterday. Uh, you can click on there, pop them in your basket. Now, you can check out your basket as many times as you like during the day. One PMP of £2.95, four to six working day delivery. But I do need to say... Lots of things do sell out very quickly. So if you know you want it, you need to check out straight away. That's why we say you can check out as many times as you like during the day. Now, yep, yep. Oh, they've sold out. Look, they've sold out the PM rulers. Yeah. The PMP. Oh, yeah, of course. I've just said 295, haven't I? Oh, but it says naught there, look. And so it's automatically, automatic. So check out as many times as you like, it doesn't matter because it'll just obviously. The premium is still 4 95 but if you don't want the standard delivery, it's free of charge. 
whether you ring or you buy on the web. Right, OK, uh, you can send me an email. The only way to send pictures in is uh, this way, or longer messages, studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com is your email address. Right, now, you won't hear from Crazy Lorraine because she's on an aeroplane to her holidays. She had to get up at 2 o'clock this morning to go and catch her aeroplane. I wouldn't have gone to bed. I might have had a nap yesterday afternoon after I'd done my packing, but then I wouldn't have gone to bed. But anyway. Yes, I guess she could have sat and watched Sean Quarter all night, couldn't she? Anyway, Fabricos, where am I starting? Arna Marie Horner by the half metre. Now, we haven't seen this for ages, have we? Lots of people, lots of people um, may not have even seen this range before because we brought it in. And then it seems to a couple of them have been in bundles. There's two fabrics in here. Now, we can't figure this out, but we've got two fabrics we were convinced were sold out. And they're here today. Now, not huge amounts, not huge amounts at all. Oh, where well, they go. There are fewer than 10, less than 10. We don't know where it was. So I've got it in two colours. This is the blue. This is my ultimate favourite, this one. Now, obviously, what I'm showing you here is a metre. So that piece of fabric would cost... would cost you £15. Now, it was, it, was, it was saying out of stock on the web as well, but we have no idea. But I've only got 10 metres. I've got less than 10 metres of this. Isn't it gorgeous? It's called the, the H H A M H is Anna Maria, Hor Anna Maria Horner, obviously. Glisten source code fabric from the Sweet Dreams range, seven pounds and forty nine pence for half a meter. Let me hold it up for you because it's gorgeous. Like I say, this is a meter, but isn't that just stunning? Whether you're going to make a frock out of it, whether you're going to make cushions out of it, whether you're going to cut it up and make a quilt out of it, what were you going to make out of it, Hannah? You see, Hannah said she just wanted to buy it. She didn't, she didn't know what she's going to make out of it. It is beautiful. I love it. I love the blue background. Well, I've got it with a black background coming up in a minute as well. Isn't it gorgeous? Look, but as I say, this is a meter. No, we don't understand how there is in here, but you know what? Sometimes, sometimes it's fate, isn't it? Right now, now I need just very quickly tell you, um, Putting it in your basket doesn't... This is why we have that check out as many times as you like. Um, putting it in your basket doesn't mean you've got it. Only once you've checked out is that's when you've got it. So lots of you got it in your basket, but who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? Good morning, Eileen. That's, that's gone. If everyone in their basket checks out now, that's gone, has it? Yeah. Now, you see, the thing is, what I need to, to, to just tell you about is you may have that in your basket. And you may think, oh, I'll check out the end of the hour. If somebody else has got it, oh, there you go, free delivery all weekend. If somebody else puts it in their basket and checks out, then they get it before you do. Even though you may have been the first person to put it in your basket, you need to check out. So that's the blue one. That one's sold out now. So I've got it in there. Is it black or dark grey? Spark. That's gorgeous. They're both these are lovely. If you miss out on the blue, though. Oh, wrong lap. Now, if you, let me just see, if you get the half a metre, I'm not sure if you get a whole repeat. Oh, no, it's a big repeat. It should say on your notes. Does it not say on your back? No, it's a repeat. Because, look, there's, there's those flowers, and there they are all the way down there at the other end of the metre. So the repeat is that to that look. That's that half a metre repeat, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's lovely, though, isn't it? Remember what I'm showing you on the table now is a metre, so that would be your £15. I was going to say plus your p and but it's no p and today, is it? No p and today and Sunday up until midnight. So, so it's all day today, just so you know, all day today, all night tonight, all through the night, all the way, all the way, all night long, uh, then through, through, through. I wonder what their first dance will be. Anyway, and then you can... Not all night long, then. And then um, we'll get to midnight on Sunday, and that's it. Then it finishes. Then it finishes. The which one? I don't even know that song. So I, if I don't know it, I don't think Prince Harry will know it either, Hannah. That's from, I think it might be somebody local from where she lives. Anyway, isn't that lovely? How are we doing with that? Yeah, loads in baskets, loads in baskets. Will we show it again or not? OK, don't think so. Right. Yeah. 
Right, okay, let me just check what else I've got here. I've got cacophony, I've got um, waves, and then I've got this one. This is called uh, periwinkle, is it called? Yeah, periwinkle there. I'll show you the three colours. The, 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 the colour is periwinkle. It's called lacy, apparently. So you've got uh, periwinkle, and then like a sage and pink, moss, that one's called, and, oh yeah, bubblegum, that was right. Start with bubblegum, actually. Right, now, I'm going to tell you... Right, the, the blue source code is completely sold out. So if you got it in your basket, you were too late, too late, too late. And there's... Too late! And the second one is heading that way, too. So this is bubblegum. It's free spirit fabric, obviously, Anna Maria Horner, sweet dreams. It's beautiful! Uh, you've... Yeah, there's like little, um, they don't look like bees. They look like those little wasps that don't sting you. I don't know what they're called. No, they're annoying, but they're no harm to you, are they? I just love, because the flowers are made up of lots and lots and lots of little flowers, look. Was that this, was that this range? Botanical gardens in Australia. I know she, a lot of hers, like her echinacea from her last range was from her garden, wasn't it? A lot of those were from her garden. Botanical gardens in Perth, that was it. Not Scotland. And then she went on a whole, must have gone on a whole tour of Australia because the river in Melbourne, is, that must have been the one we've just done, the river in Melbourne. Aboriginal art, Aboriginal art galleries. I'm just going through her, her um, what's it called? What do you call it? Like your list of things you do when itinerary when she was on holiday. It's lovely, isn't it? Called bubble gum, lacy fabric. Who has? Wendy. Good morning, John. Happy Royal Wedding Day. Oh, I love that Anna Maria Horror fabric. Love Wendy. It is. Oh, is that wet? It's wet yourself, Wendy. Now, why did I think you were on holiday? I know oh, you're going to work yesterday in the Union Jack shirt skirt, weren't you? No, but I saw, I'm sure she was going on holiday as well. I might have that wrong. I think life's one, big, one long holiday for Wendy. Hello, John. I'm a new customer. Hello, at Sue in uh, Staffordshire. I'm a new customer. I've watched you for a year. I love you all. Great job, Sue from uh, Staffordshire. So what, what, made, what made you suddenly buy something? What did you see? Was it the free teddy bear yesterday? Was it the Anna Maria Horner fabric? What did you do? Free PMP, maybe. I'm not very good at pointing today, am I? Hang on, if I do... Oh, don't. You... Right, OK. So this morning, it was very early, we were discussing the, the hour of this thing, and I still I don't think they're quite the same colours as um, we've got in our bundle. So I went through and I went, Hannah, no, we haven't got those colours. The only one we've got is this one. And Hannah was like, are you sure? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I've checked them all, been in there, put them up against each other. Admittedly, the lights, only the little lights were on. Anyway, Hannah came in with me later. In this bundle, we've got all of those fabrics, apart from, was it the grey one there? Which is, a, we've got a different grey one. So I got it completely wrong. And Hannah will not stop taking the mickey. No, he said to them my glasses on, but they don't normally affect colour. But they obviously did this morning. I think my rods and cones were playing up because it was quite dark in here. Colour. Periwinkle next. There's only five metres of this. That's, you know what, that's like dusk, isn't it? That lo lovely magic hour that we've talked about in the past, isn't it? It's that kind of just, just before the sun goes down. Oh, right, both of the source codes that I showed at the beginning, they've both sold out now. Both sold out. Don't you think it's very kind of uh, summer's evening, that one? That lovely, just before the... I think she's in the botanical gardens trying to find her way out. That's what it was. We've got to botanical gardens in Birmingham, haven't we? Oh, now I am. Oh, I'll have to tell you later. I haven't told you about that one, no. I, Hannah wasn't in yesterday. It was Little Paul yesterday, you see. Oh, are they? Oh, that'd be nice. Oh. Oh, we haven't caught up on that. Been too busy this morning. We haven't caught up on all the news. So you didn't find a car. Hannah's looking for a new car. Didn't find a car. Did you even bother looking at one? 
She can't drive yet. She can't drive yet. Yeah. So you haven't even seen a car this week? Oh. Mind you, not, I haven't seen a car for donkey's years, me. Right, this is nice. This colorway is gorgeous. Isn't that lovely? Moss, this one's called. Moss. But I think the garage owner told you that to begin with, wasn't it? There wouldn't be, there wouldn't be a new car in every weekend, would there, or whatever. It's a little garage. Moss Lacey Fabric from the Sweet Dreams range. At £7.49. For half a metre, remember, half a metre, but 3 p and you see, oh, I see. There's the little square that says 2 95 You can ignore that 2 95 P&P per day. It's free, post and packaging. We can't get rid of that one, apparently. So if you want to put a piece of gaffer tape on your television screen, because it's in the same place every time, isn't it? What is wrong with Hannah today? I think she was partying with her next-door neighbour till 3 o'clock this morning. He was. OK. Seven pounds and forty nine pence for half a meter moss. Why is, your, is post been delivered to your? This is um, Hannah's next door neighbour's been away on a work conference all week. Oh, parcels. They're not not letters. Not letters. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Which one's next? This one. Flamed is the colour of that one, isn't it? They're called, it's called Day and Night. The fabric's called Day and Night. This one's called Flame. Oh. Mm. That one's called Heather. Let's go Flame. Oh, we haven't told Chris yet about um, something at all. We've got so much to catch up on. We just haven't had time this morning. We've been too busy. No gossip this morning. Seven pounds. Are you in next week? Oh, OK. Seven pounds and 49 pence. Emily's messaged in. Uh, oh, she's emailed in, she's emailed in. Good morning, saying to, saying to team and fans. Can I just, can I just speak? Uh, I'm sorted for the day. She's got coffee, hand sewing, knitting, and saying quarter, and then the wedding, and then the football. Oh, she, she hasn't mentioned the football. Oh, she said, I love the shows, learnt so much. You bought some of this then? 7.49. Anna Maria Horner, Flame Day Night. Oh, hang on. Just called Day Night. It's not night and day, it's day night. Hannah had guinea pigs called Day and Night. Oh, OK. Oh, hang on. <laughs> now, Anne, when Hannah can drive, you'll be able to take it in turns to drive to work. Sadly, not, because I live another hour beyond. So Hannah would have to... Hannah would have to get up, or I'd either have to drive to Hannah's house, park the car, then drive for four minutes into work with Hannah, or she would have to drive for an hour to my house, pick me up, and then we'd drive for an hour and 20 minutes into work. So that doesn't work. And I don't really want to share her a car. Because it'll be, you know, won't be very glamorous, I don't think. Anyway. I know, I know. I can't tell you. Oh, you weren't in yesterday either, Hannah, so you won't know it either. Oh, you have to go up and tell Hannah. Oh, it came in an email. Oh, I didn't get it. Oh, maybe it's only you. <laughs> Hannah. Uh, uh, Chris will come up and tell you in a minute. But it was an email you had from the management, which you obviously haven't read. Oh, it doesn't matter, because Hannah's on holiday. Hannah's on holiday next week. £7.49 for half a metre. Are you... <laughs> Jane said to what? Hello, John, these fabrics are so true to gardens in Perth. We have visited a few times. My daughter lives there. Oh, Jane in York. Oh, Jane, I've always wanted to go to Australia. Always wanted to go to Australia. And I always thought in the film industry, oh, well, I'll go and do a film there when I'll let them pay for my first class. Because if you have the flight, in, in my day, in films, if the flight was over four hours, you had to go first class. Yeah. And you got paid while you were flying. Because that, that was a working day, I know. So I never went, never made it. Never made it to Australia. 
And then I was going to, uh, you know how this morning, when I was on this morning and I did like the red carpets and everything like that, I was, you know how they have, like, Alison uh, goes out to Australia and covers um, I'm a Celebrity and does the report back live sort of thing. I was going to do that one year, and the lady who was in charge that year really, really didn't like me. And she put a spanner in the works and she didn't let me go. I know, she was mean. I'm not going to say any names, but she knows who she is. Let's move on to birds now, because otherwise I'll get bitter and twisted. Right, now, Anna Maria's got this as curtains in her house. Uh, we haven't got the picture to show you, but she hasn't lined them. She's left them as uh, just... So the light just comes through. This one's got red kisses on it, and this one's got ochre kisses on it. This one's called Dusk, and this one's called... I'll do dusk first. I'll do dusk first, then. Look at this. Look at the birds. Isn't it called cacophony? It's called cacophony, this one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Cacophony. Do you know what it means? Oh, thank you. You remembered that, then. Yeah. Parrot. Parakeet. Jay. They must be Australian birds, mustn't they? That one's called Sheila. I don't know. Isn't it Sheila's Wheels? Doesn't that come from Australia? Are they still there? I haven't seen the Sheila's Wheels advert for ages. Anyway, so one must be a kookaburra, must not it? Because that's Australian bird. Which one's the kookaburra, Mike? It's got a short beak. What well, is it? That one then? Oh, they've all got short beaks. Susan's messaged in. Morning, John. My daughter Sophie's getting married tomorrow. Oh, Susan. What time do you want us round? Uh, in Nottinghamshire. So in court. Oh, no. She said so in court is keeping her sane. Is it a bit manic? Oh. It's nice getting married on a Sunday, isn't it? My friend Kate got married on a Sunday. Ginger Mike says he gets married all the time on a Sunday. That, that's a bit worrying, isn't it? And his pigmentation thing's back as well. So he's not happy. I said yesterday, oh, it, it's, it's going, isn't it, Ginger Mike? He walked in this morning and went, oh, it's still there then. Oh, like that. Yeah. Anyway, this is gorgeous, isn't it? At dusk, cacophony from Sweet Dreams range, 7.49. Shall I show you what our curtains look like? Oh, John, it's the best weekend ever. No, not Royal Wedding. John's got on turn quarter all weekend. Oh, you're very kind, Michelle. Uh, Please do show a demo. Please do a show dem. You've just, just taken it off and I'm halfway through reading it. Oh, please do a show demo. Oh, I will one day. It's just they won't pay me, that's all. They're, they're lovely, aren't they? I'd make a blind out of it more than curtains, I think. And do what? Have holes in it. OK, Hannah said she'd take all the birds off. I think the whole point of the fabric is that it's about the birds. Oh, oh, she'd cut them out and applique them onto her own. There's no budgie on there, though, is there? OK. Julie, I'm having to watch on my phone today whilst my lounge ceiling is being plastered. Lucky lounge ceiling. Uh, lovely fabrics, aren't they, Julie? That's Julie in Cheshire. Oh, Julie in Cheshire. Oh, Hannah says you've got hunky builders doing it. Or painters and decorators. Oh, no, plastering. Oh, no, plasterers. They're, they're a, a tribe of their own, aren't they, plasterers? My friend Pam's husband, Peter, he's a plasterer. Peter the plasterer. And they live in Pet, pet something. She lives there. No, not Pet's home. She used to, other vets are, things are available. She used to live on the old Kent Road, and then she got posh, and they moved out to Pet's, pet something in South London. Can't remember now. That's Pam who goes, blaz. Spells it B-L-A-H-Z-E. No, she did, really. When we used to work at 20th Century together. One Blaz! Well, she'd write as she spoke. And Blaz is B-L-A-H-Z-E, isn't it? Blaz! Oh, I loved Pam. I, what's, I don't know what she's... I haven't seen her for years. Anyway, she's got about ten children now, by now, I would imagine. This is lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. Well, that's because that looks like your hair. I don't know what that means. Seven pounds and 49 pence for half of me. 100% cotton, machine washable, 44 inches wide. Him. 
Oh, which one? Which one looks angry? Him. No, he doesn't. Isn't that a woodpecker? Or is it a kingfisher? Kingfisher, I think. Oh, no, is it, yeah, Angry Birds. That's, oh, is that, can you still play that on your phone? I haven't played it for years, that one. Got quite addictive at one point, didn't it? I am going back quite a few years now because my, my nephews were alone, only young and they taught me how to play it. Right, last but not least, I've got three. La, la, la. Last but not least, I've got this one in three different colourways. It's called Prism Gardens. In the three different colourways. Lichen, plum, and candy. Candy. I was just going to start singing that one. That's but No. There's Robbie Williams got a song called Candy as well. I see. How does it go? Is it the one with um, Millennium in it? No, that'd be Millennium, wouldn't it? <laughs> anyway, we'll look at this. Candy Garden Prism. It's not Prism Garden, it's Garden Prism. Oh, no, that's the first time I've heard Mike sing, Ginger Mike sing. Anyway, moving on. You've got ochre in here, you've got coral in here, you've got pink in here. It's lovely, isn't it? Bright and zesty. Nice geometric shapes going on in there, aren't they? Oh, actually, they're all triangles, aren't they? Different shapes of triangles, though. There's an isosceles there, there's an equilateral there. Oh, which one? Scalene. Oh. Julie's what? Oh, not hunky Hannah, but very good at plastering. He did the she shed. Oh. Julie's the one with that posh, you know, in the garden, that lovely, that we could all live in. It's got the double fridge and we thought to have champagne nip. It's got a, her, she's got jabs in it for her holidays, isn't she? Oh, Michelle, what? Ah, ah, oh, Michelle, you need my agent. Uh, well, no, no. What, what, what job do you do, Michelle? Michelle said, what, uh, what, they won't pay. You need my agent. She's brutal. Oh, dear. Uh, love Michelle. Oh, she's a voice actor there. Oh, Michelle, I used to be at... Because um, my agent used to be uh, ICM, which became independent, and they had... What was the voiceover? I, I was the voice of Scott Rail for years. And I kept thinking, when I went for the first time, I was thinking, I hope they don't think I'm Scottish. And I'd do all these adverts about um, Scott Rail. And what other voiceovers have done? I've done the Prima Fashion Awards one. And I thought it was it. I didn't do many voiceovers. I don't think they like my voice. But my friend Aileen, that's all she does, and she's made a fortune. They kind of want... It's diff, it must be difficult for you, Michelle, unless you are famous, because they only really want famous... They want Geordies or famous faces now, don't they? Right, uh, next one. Lightshed. Oh, Michelle. What, you must let me know what, um, what you've done, what voices you've done. Where can we hear you? In the cinema near you, Michelle. Ooh, it could be an advert. She could be the Marks and Spencer. Do they still go? What do they say in the Marks and Spencer advert? Not just a pretty face, a Marks and Spencer's pretty face. I don't know. I don't really watch the adverts anymore because I, I watch, don't watch anything live. And as soon as come, like Jeremy Kyle, as soon as comes the advert breaks, so I just fast forward to it starting again. Good morning, John. I'm off to London today to see Michael Ball in chess. Uh, Andrew may be a f oh, and maybe a fabric shop or two. No, it's it's, a, it's something. Now, apparently, Lane Page said that Michael Ball is at his best ever in chess. Um, I'm very jealous. I want to go and see it as well, Judy. Mandy, what's wrong with being Scottish then? Why? Did, what's that say? Oh, no, 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 no. There's nothing. Now, Mandy, just to get it right. They employed me for a job for Scots Rail in Scotland, and my name is John Scott. And I thought, I hope they don't think I'm Scottish because I can't do accents. You know what I mean? Well, no, because that... No, no, because if you think about it, um, a friend of mine does voiceovers, and he says all they now want is soft Geordie. That's all they want now. Yeah, that's... that's the, and, then, and I was like, don't be stupid. And then you listen to the adverts, and soft Geordie 
is on a lot of all the adverts and everything. And um, I was like, I can't do an accent. Can't. Anyway, it was meant to be me at a fashion show. That's what the theme was. So that's why they picked me, not that I was Scottish. So, Mandy, nothing wrong with Scottish people whatsoever. Uh, Hannah loves the Scottish accent, Mandy. Have you, got a, have you got any friends that are single for Hannah to go out with? Oh, male, <laughs> male friends. <laughs> male friends. I like this green one. I think the green one might be my favourite in that. What's it called? Lycan, yeah. That's nice. Oh, look at the time. I've, I've got loads to get through today. I'm busy wittering away, I know. How did you, how did you hear her say that? Because she only said it in my earpiece here. Morning, John, just got out of the shower and heard you say, no, I didn't say prison, prism, prism. And Hannah said prison. Anyway, silly nanny Jilly in Yorkshire. Uh, in Suffolk, sorry, don't say Yorkshire then. Suffolk, <laughs> she's not in Yorkshire. She's in a shower and she went into the shower, be like Billy Watts, not Billy, Bobby off Dallas, go in the shower and come out 27 years later in a different country. Seven pounds of time pence for half a metre. All of them had the dots, but you could just sit, they're more prevalent in this one, aren't they? Where's, there's one with no triangle. Where's the no triangle? Where? That's a triangle. No, no, it's a triangle, three-sided. No, that's just, the fabric's just not been ironed properly, look. <laughs> I think that's meant to be a triangle. I think she just must have got one of her nine children. Was it nine or seven children? She's got. Okay, and I've got one more Anna Maria, haven't I? Which is not fabric, obviously, but it's this lovely gift box. Which, um, Lucy's got this. Her husband bought it for her. This is called Warm Reception. You get this lovely gift box, and inside the gift box, oops, you get two fat quarters. Oh, come on. One, two. And you get ten orophils. All 50 weight. Beautiful colours at, at 200 metres. Uh, you see, they could have put two more in there, couldn't they? No, in the fat quarters. They're beautiful fat quarters as well, look. Oh, now lots of places you can get the box without the fat quarters in. Look. She loves flowers, doesn't she? Very, very hard to source this uh, gift box in the UK. Um, and also, there's um, an Anna Maria pattern in there as well. It's a very simple pattern for a needle case, if I remember rightly. Or was it a pincushion? Oh, skinny pin and needle cushion, it's called. Both of us got it right. Both of us got it right. Not them trying to prove them right, right? Nice. Beautiful. That's the same, but in a different colour. Same but different. So now, what do you think they're doing now? Do you think they're having a champagne breakfast now? Well, you wouldn't have a champagne breakfast for a royal wedding, would you? Well, you imagine if you... Well, no. They, they, um, well, the first reception is just um, stand-up nibbles. Good morning, John. I'm watching while packing the caravan. Had to buy some Anna Maria Horner glisten. Have a lovely week off. At Free P&P Alley, and it'll be there waiting for you when you come back. She's off on holidays. She's off on holidays today. And uh, in her greenhouse or shed or garden building, she found a nest with some um, eggs in it, and they're robins. They're little... Oh, now, that's funny. I, yesterday, right, I was just leaning on my, you know, lonely, looking out my garden window, watching Norman actually doing something very weird in the garden. That's by the way. Norman's my cat. Um, and then I saw a robin feeding this little baby bird. But there wasn't in a nest. The baby bird was like walking around like this. Do baby robins not have red breasts? Or was he feeding a sparrow? Because he kept, he kept coming over, taking food off my food thingy, then going over to this little bird that was on the floor, feeding it like that, like they do. And then going back and getting some more. And then feed it. But, but the little bird didn't have a red breast. So I don't quite know what bird it was feeding, whether it was confused and it was feeding a sparrow thinking it was a baby robin. 
but it could walk around. It wasn't in the nest. Moving on. Finished Anna Maria Horner. Let's move on to Tula Pink. Now, this book, we now you remember wet yourself, Wendy? She's watching. She made me that quilt, right? Some of the some of the blocks are out of this book, aren't they, Wendy? When uh, Tula was on, she brought this book. Now, it's a gorgeous book because it has all these different blocks in. She doesn't give them any names, right? She calls, gives them, uh, like she calls this one number four. There's a hundred of them. And she leaves you a space to write what you want to call it. So we love it. So, so it's like a memory quilt look and you can write in the book, you can colour things in, you can do whatever. Oh, I've got that one in mine, haven't I, Wendy? Where's it gone? Where's that cross gone? Oh, I've lost it now. It's lovely, isn't it? You're never going to run out of ideas, are you? Look. Well, that one's a bit simple, isn't it? 21. But look, it shows you how to make it. it shows you how to make it. Isn't it lovely? A hundred different blocks. All very different. So, uh, when Wait Yourself Wendy made me that gorgeous, gorgeous quilt that she made for me, um, she made all boxes like that, and then she, I think there must be one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven of them, and then one of them just had my name in it. You could do your own sampler quilt if you want to just practice, because look, half square triangles, all the different techniques and everything, flying geese. And we're only at number 50. There's 100 of them in here. I love this book. I think this... In fact, I think I might get this. How many are there? All oh, right, I'm going to get one of these. Obviously, I can't buy mine before you do, but... But you can have it delivered to your house, Hannah, for free. What happens here is if Hannah buys... Oh, look at that one. If Hannah buys anything, she has to go buy like you do, and she has to ring the call centre or do it on web, but then we have it delivered to work rather than to our homes, because we know then we'll be, we'll be in when it comes, do you know what I mean? Or somebody will be in to get it at the door. Oh! I've got frog prints in mine, isn't it? Haven't I? So that's just like a, a, board, like a border, isn't it? Number 73. It's called what? No, no, it hasn't got a name. That's right, that one. That's because it's off-centre, that's why you like that one. Yeah. See that one there, it's like a bit of a, a bit like almost like a log cabin, that one, half a log, a quarter cabin. Oh look, they're gorgeous. Oh, there's, there's the tummy of the frog prince. Oh no, I take that, oh, it says the tummy, it says the tummy, it says the tummy. I like the fact that you can, that, well, she's not precious about her book, is she? So many designers be like, oh, don't, don't break it. Don't. But this one, you can, she says, write in it, draw in it, make your own notes in it. It's just like a creative journal, isn't it? Oh, that's nice. Oh, hang on. No, I thought she'd pieced all those triangles together, but that must be one of her fabrics. But then wouldn't that Ar Anna Maria Horner triangular fabric look nice in there? Okay, um, Michael, Ginger Michael is called that asteroid. Or what was the other one? Meteor. Meteorite. There's a difference between meteor and meteorite, isn't there? One lands on the earth and one doesn't. Thank you. Oh, what's haiku? What's haiku? Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? Oh, no, that's which fabric's out there, then? No, we've had that one. I recognise it. Maybe I bought it somewhere else. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, that's a snail. No, she's done a snail. Is that a snail? Is it a snail, though? Is it, though? Is it, though? Who's that? Oh, Catherine Tate. Oh, there's your meteor, or meteorite, or your, what would you call it? Oh, I nearly said the wrong word then. <laughs> I can't say that as 8.40. Well, I can, but people who, who might not like it. Oh, look, no, we've definitely had that one. We've got squirrel. Uh, oh. I thought we had a squirrel today. Oh, yeah, I've got the green squirrel today and the begonia squirrel today. Look, and then look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, I just, I just love it. And then pictures, look. 
She's very uh, fussy about where her pictures are taken. Oh, is that all the all the hundred in a block in a big quilt then? Oh, you could just do a block. Of, well, the Hannah says you could do a block a week. She'd have to do a block a month. But the speed you lot work at, be a block a morning and a block in the afternoon. That's lovely. That is, isn't it? Fifteen ninety nine. That'd be a lovely present, wouldn't it? Okay, lots of people saying baby robins don't have red breasts. Yes, Beckley Brown. Oh, I'm a bit confused. Right, apparently they don't give baby robins a red breast so that the parents don't chase them out their territory. So they only see the red breast, they don't see the baby. Anyway, but that's why it was a little baby robin in my garden yesterday. But it wasn't in its nest, so it must have just learned to fly because it flew off, it was fine. And Norman and Nelly are so old now, they just sit there going, mm. robins. Uh, mm. Trees is messaging. Good morning, John. I'm watching you with my granddaughter, Jada. She loves staying with Nanny and watching Sand Quarter. Please give her a wave. Hello, Jada. You're going to be watching the wedding later. What do you reckon the frock's going to be like? Have you got any sweets, Hannah says. How old is, how old is Jada? How old is Jada? Hannah's saying, you've got sweets, Jada. Has Nanny bought you sweets? Or... Yeah, Nanny, Nanny, yeah. Nanny, uh, uh, Jada, um, Hannah thinks Nanny should go out and buy some sweets. Oh, <gasps> that was Hannah said that, not me. I think you should just be, you know, or an ice, a bit early for an ice cream, and it's only 8.42. She'll, she'll still be having her Rice Krispies and things now, won't she? Other are available, obviously. How old is she, Teresa? Right, fabrics. So you can make some of those blocks out of these fabrics, because we've just, sh we showed you the squirrel. We showed you the uh, frog several, she used the frog several times, didn't she? Didn't see the raccoon in that book though there. Right, which one's first? These are lovely blocks. Oh, on the front line. Oh, this is the back line, yeah. Yeah, okay. Right, this is called Tula Orchid. You get two and a half meters. So I'll just explain that you get half a me two half meters of spectrum solid. And then you get the stripes. You get the lovely bumblebee fabric, half a metre. And you get the frog prints, half a metre. Oh, that's a really good... Oh, these are good. Now, these are good. This is lilac and lime. Then you've got the uh, petunia, OK? Then you've got the... Um... Oh, I've got to say, actually, iris bee. And you've got orchid frog. Oh, you can't see that. There it is. Orchid frog. I have to move it into the shot. There you go. Nice. Oh, these bundles are lovely. Twenty-seven ninety-nine. There's a still of that one. Oh yes, like that. In fact, the thing is, you know, normally I go, oh yes, I've got a favourite. I'm not sure if I've got a favourite on this because they're all gorgeous. Next one here. So what you get in this one? Oh, actually, you. This is make a lovely. Um, Wonky star, look. Is it the right way up? No, wonky star. You could use these to make your stars with. You'd obviously have to buy some fabric for the backing, wouldn't you? Oh, lovely. That's lovely. I'll just put that there. So in this one, you get half a metre of the bumblebee in um, marigold. Oh, they're all marigold. Marigold bumblebee, marigold squirrels, Oh, yeah, begonia squirrel, and then marigold pom-pom. Sorry. But I haven't got, on mine, I haven't got the spectrum solids on mine. Magenta and real purple, you get with this. Magenta and real purple. That's a lovely bundle. This, that are lovely in your um, wonky stars. Or any other bundle you want to do, but that is lovely. OK. Beautiful. Oh. Oh, Car I've got Carolyn first. Oh, and I've got Michelle. No, I'm not famous apart from being the ex-fairy liquid girl and a dreadful 80s pop video. I thought that was um, fairy liquid. Oh, you'll be one of the little girls going, Mummy, I want to make a rocket. Was that you? Was that you? I'm thinking of Nanette Newman. And what's her daughter called? I used to work with her. Oh, she's gorgeous. And she's got a fabulous house. 
Emma Forbes, Emma Forbes. Anyway, no, I'm not famous apart from being the next fairy liquid girl and dreadful 80s pop videos. Revoice actor, they come calling when they can't. I don't know what that means. I must have got cut off. They come calling when they can't. Oh, OK. Don't know what that means, Michelle. I must have cut, cut you off. Uh, there was another one there, wasn't there? Oh, yeah, OK. Right, you go. Next one. This one's very vibrant, as little Paul would say. So in this one, you have Damson Solid Spectrum, Aqua Solid Spectrum. You've got uh, Poppy Pom Poms, Poppy Raccoon, and Poppy Tail Feathers. So that's your, that's your tail feathers. That's your Poppy Tail Feathers. That's your Poppy Raccoon. That's your Poppy uh, Pom Poms. And then what was this? Aqua and Damson. Nice. Uh, brave choice putting the Damson in there. Nice, though, it works. Anyway, beautiful. Oh, hang on, did you say there was another message you were going to put to him? But I'll get the next bundle out, shall I? And then you can put the message in. This is nice. Now you've got squirrels, tail feathers, and stripes in here. And then your two solids. There you go. The fabric called, uh, band is called fern because you've got fern squirrel, fern ten stripe, and lupin or lupine tail feathers. And your two solids. Uh, Carolyn says, Hi, John. So glad to have you sit on two TVs in our camper van. <gasps> oh, no. Sitting on Bridge North watching you whilst Hubby finds something else on the other TV. Is he watching the wedding? Is he watching the wedding, Carolyn? And is it a big caravan? Or are we going to be sitting back to back like that watching the caravan? Anyway. Oh, I see. Oh, so you're posh. Should they come to me when they can't afford Miss Lumley or Fiona Bruce? Now, Fiona, you know, um, Angie, she and her husband have got a tugboat. Is it called a tugboat? Like a metal boat from the war with no electricity on it. And they, uh, it was at the beginning of one of the um, Antiques Roadshow. She arrived on the front of Angie's boat. Fact. Right. Uh, this is agave. Now, it's funny, because agave is normally orange, isn't it? My agave is orange. Anyway. Agave bee, agave tent stripe, and myrtle frog. Agave is a, 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 fruit, a sweetener, isn't it? Like a natural sweetener. Oh, maybe the plant's green before it, you, you distill it and put it in a plastic bottle. And then what are my two, my two solids called on this one? Fern. Ocean. Nice, that one, isn't it? That's a lovely one, that one. You see... And I'm going to be, um, I'm not too keen on the frog for some reason. Now, I like frogs in life, but in this frog. But then when it's cut up, when it was in that block earlier, it looked lovely, didn't it? I love the bee, I love the bumblebee. Love the stripes, yeah. Yeah, the, I like the stripes, there you go. I like the stripes and the pom-poms, yeah. Beautiful colours. And last one, have you seen the pictures? Do you follow her on Instagram? She's just done another show. Where's the show that's on at the moment? And she, put, she said, oh, don't, please don't put any photos of the stand-up until we launch it. It looks gorgeous, her new range. Is it called Zuma or something like that? Uh, foxglove. This is called Foxglove, this one. So what you get in this one, you get Foxglove Squirrel, Foxglove Tent Stripe and Fuchsia Raccoon. And Jade with Forest Fruits. Nice, I like that one. £27.99. I've still got a whole load of the fabrics to go through yet. Oh, and I'm supposed to show you these while I was going along. I'll show you these quickly. Squirrel in green, little... Yeah, look. Little rucksack there with the squirrels in green. Yeah. Then there's the frog prince bag. And then there's the raccoons in fuchsia. Oh, what's that noise? Sounds like there's um, is it a helicopter or is it um, a tank going down the street? 
Remember, it's free PMP all weekend until Sunday night. Till midnight on Sunday, it stops. Right, these are the brand new K fabrics. The rest of these have flown, flown, flown out. Flown out, flown out, flown out. Right, I've got succulents, I've got under the sea, I've got pomegranate. Oh, I've got both tents. Oh, yeah, yeah. So succulent, succulent, succulent. Is that this one? Yeah, this one here. This is K-Facet. Now, as far as we can see, there's only two meters left. Now, it, it could be a bundle somewhere. But the bundle, now hang on, it was in the quilt bundle, but that one's definitely gone. So the only place it might be, if we've not sold out, is in the, um, oh no, 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 because all the mega bundles went. So we think there's only two, and we're not getting any more. So unless there is some in a bundle somewhere, there's only, two, well, I've only got two meters available today, that's what I'm saying. It's nice, isn't it? Beautiful, it's called succulent. Obviously that's a meter. That would cost you uh, 15 pounds, but free PMP, remember? Okay. That's that succulent. Then I've got the other succulent here. This one's in, the, I think this one was in the quilt as well, isn't it? Now this is from the K-Facet Collective. This is a Philip Jacobs from the K-Facet Collective. That's a meter again for your 15 pounds. Now this looks gorgeous cut up. If you cut this into uh, design rolls or into small triangles, it looks amazing. Seven pounds and 49 pence for half a meter. Remember free P and P, free P and P. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm not going back over there. So you have to get used to this little table here, and then Chris can tidy up. No, it is, it is, tighten up. Oh, she's getting very defensive, isn't she, today? What do you want to go to next, then, madam? Uh, under the sea, I've got it in three different colourways. And we've got it in pink, jolly, and yellow. I think that was right. Jolly, do you want to go with first? She said, because this is the most realistic, because it look, really looks like under the sea, where she's been on holiday. Can you imagine Hannah scuba diving? Can you imagine in a wetsuit? <laughs> Can her flippers would go like that, wouldn't they? Could, no, I'm not taking the mickey, but she's got... What's it you've got wrong with you? It's the same as you, isn't it? Oh, you've got, they've got different problems. <laughs> but both Chris Floorbenchris and Hannah have got this thing where their feet face that way, don't they? Uh, they Chris does a brilliant party trick. Anyway, um, and so if Hannah's flippers would be like that, wouldn't they? So she'd only be able to go up and down. She wouldn't be able to go forwards and backwards. I thought it was quite amusing. This is nice, look. <laughs> well, no, because that's if you're going the wrong way, you see, it would be upside down if you're going the wrong way, wouldn't it? Yes, because sometimes um, David Attenborough shows them from underneath. And he won an award, did they? He won an award last week at the BAFTAs, yeah? Yes. Turtle. Tuna, Mer not Merlin. What was that? What was that? Fi that film, Nemo. No, there's some guppies there. There's one of those bloater fishes there. That's me. Seahorses that Hannah thinks are unicorns. Did you know as well on the royal crest? There's unicorns on the royal crest. I think it looks like a horse that's got a baguette that's bought a baguette. But another fact I didn't believe of Hannah. You see, we didn't believe her that she said children, babies can't see cut in colour till they're six weeks old. And then there was another one we, we didn't believe, wasn't it? Which colour next? Yellow. Yeah, it's just odd, the facts you know. If there was an O level in unusual facts, you'd have got to grade A. Why do I open all of these upside down? Seahorse, guppies, parrotfish, octopus, squid, cornettos, starfish. Yeah, look, there's some cornettos. Yeah, they're over there. Where have they gone? Oh, yeah, 
said, like a triple cornetto. If we're on the ice cream theme. OK. Next. I've got the uh, Jolie, no, not the Jolie, the underwater in pink. OK, quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, yes, I'm going to run out of time. How many? Oh, I'm not going to get time to show you all of these, I'm afraid. Well, yeah. Under the Sea in the Pink is lovely, isn't it? Under the Sea. There's a song, isn't it, that one? That I've just ruined. Oh, it's from The Little Mermaid. Let it go. Oh, no, that's, the, I, that's not it. I get very confused in my, my animated films. Right, what do you want to do last? Tents in red. Are they Game of Thrones? Are they jousting? Are they circus? Are they glamping? We don't know, but we love it. Love it. Great one, very quickly. I'm not going to have time to do pomegranate. We'll play pomegranate through, and I'll show you them very quickly. There's the tents in the black, blue, and green, and red. Grey. Very, very quickly, I'm not going to show you the graphics of the pomegranate, but the two here, in the break, they will appear underneath me there. There's pomegranate in blue, pomegranate in pink. Beautiful. Isn't it? Right, don't go in. Oh, and there's a book. That'll be, that'll be ending. Sorry, I haven't had time to go through those. It's because I've talked too long. Right, I've got a new member of the family coming up in the next show. Oh, you're going to love her. You're going to love her. I think she might be a little bit crazy. Um, she's made that lovely wedding, uh, double wedding band quilt, and she's going to show you. She's got so much to show you. Sally Stevens making her friend Sally... What's the other Sally called? Sally! Sally! Um, we'll see you in three minutes from now. Don't go anywhere. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Hi, I'm Tilly Rose and here are my three top tips. The first would be to actually be in the moment. Allow yourself to uh, be surrounded by all those lovely fabrics and cloth and thread and just take time out. Enjoy your stitching, whether that's machine embroidery or free motion or slow stitching. Just allow yourself to connect with the thread and cloth and you'll enjoy the projects much more. So my second tip would be to allow yourself to go wrong. Give yourself permission to make mistakes because we all learn from our mistakes. Um, I've been sewing for a very, very long time and I still make loads and loads of mistakes. Um, but that's okay because you can use those small little pieces in other projects later on down the line, um, but it's good, it's okay. So my third tip would be quite simply break all the rules. Um, if you want to experiment with different threads or different fabric, um, you might have read in a pattern or something that maybe you shouldn't do that, um, I would say, yeah, break the rules. And that's how you learn to allow your creativity to um, come through in your designs. Tune in on Tuesday the 22nd of May when Jennifer Taylor is here with a blooming gorgeous cushion design. These three-dimensional flowers are brought to life petal by petal using wool felt and simple techniques that Jennifer will be demonstrating. Choose from four gorgeous kits including shades of rose red, honeysuckle gold, mint green and sunshine ochre. You can even add a touch of sparkle to your blossom with pretty Swarovski crystals. So join us for Cushions with Serious Petal Power, Tuesday the 22nd of May at 8am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 687. Join us on Wednesday the 23rd of May for a stroll through the enchanted forest with quilting expert Victoria Peet. This quilt kit may have a prickly exterior, but inside you'll find the most gorgeous forest-inspired fabric featuring hedgehogs, rabbits, flowers and toadstools. Even more magical though is the clever technique used to create the adorable applique hedgehog. With instructions to make the quilt plus a cushion, a pair of happy hedgehogs could be taking up residence in your home very soon. 
So tune in for an hour with Victoria and her charming Woodland friends, Wednesday the 23rd of May at 9am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 687. Now, when I met, well, I, well I've, we've been, you know, Geraldine, who we chat to, when I met her, met her at Sewing for Pleasure, she said to me, oh, I really want to see the double wedding, the double wedding ring template done. And I said, oh, I think it's been done, I think it's been done. Things about, well, it's here now, it's today. Uh, Geraldine's out, but I know she's videoing it, or not videoing it, what do you do, the Sky Plusing it, or whatever you do. Um, we're very, very excited, because it's the most gorgeous, gorgeous quilt. If you haven't seen it, here's a couple of pictures to show you what it looks like. This is one of it draped over a sofa. It's lovely, isn't it? And then I've got one of it hanging on the wall. And we've got a new guest, Sally Stevens here, um, who's going to show you how to make it, how to make it. Now, I thought it was going to be really, 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 really complicated. I think it's time consuming, but it doesn't look complicated when you get this, when you have this ruler to make it with. Is that, oh yeah, she's, I was going to say it's Hannah back, yeah. So we'll do the ruler first. I'll do the, because the reason we've done it separately is a lot of you have already bought this ruler. A lot of you bought it and already done the single wedding, band, uh, wedding ring, which you can do from this, can't you? But this is the, we're doing the double wedding ring today. Oh no, hang on, we, can, we did it as a bundle, didn't we? We did this and the single one, sorry. But we have sold it separately as well, I'm getting confused there. So, but we've never ever demoed the double wedding ring. Four piece set, you get four pieces at one, two, three, four. It's Rachel the Ruler's Creative Grid, so all, I will go through, we'll go through the ruler again later. And it comes, look at all the instructions on the back of this one. You don't want to be throwing this one away because it's got everything you need on the back there. 37 pounds and 49 pence for that. So you've got four rulers in one, which I'm sure you can use for other things. We'll ask, we'll ask Sally when we go over later. I'm sure you can use them. Anyway, so the two bundles I've got here. Now I've got the one that's behind me, it's been behind me for the last week. Uh, it's as near as, yeah, there's only one fabric that's different. I thought they were all fat different, but there's only one fabric that's different. So what you get in this is you get so much. Mm? Uh, look at this, all the instructions are in here. So you're gonna see a demonstration now by Sally, but you get the instructions with all the pictures and everything in there. You've got, you've got the ruler, you've got also got the instructions in the ruler, but this is for this particular one. 59.99, now you get six and a half meters of fabric. Six and a half meters of fabric. So you get half a meter. These are all um, from the Bijou range. Half a meter, half a meter, half a meter asparagus, that one's called. Half a meter. That's the one that's slightly different to the one on the wall. Uh, the one on the wall's got a darker gray. This one's a more dove pale gray. Then you've got the lemon and then you've got the uh, lilac. One, two, three meters of that. And three and a half meters of your antique white, is that? Yeah, antique white, plus your thread, plus your instructions, 59.99. Now remember, it's saying they're 295 post and packaging. It's free post and packaging. Free post and packaging until Sunday at midnight. Oh, Geraldine's watching, is she? She said she was going to be out. The, oh, she said they're just leaving now, going out for the day now. Uh, she was recording it for later. She said, thank you to Sally in advance, did she say? Brilliant. Have a lovely day, Geraldine. Right, and then the blue wrench, which is the one that Sally's going to be demonstrating in. So I haven't got a picture of this one yet. But look at this. Look at all these different blues here, blues and teals you've got here. So you get a half a metre, 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 and three and a half metres. Now, that looks like optical white to me. Isn't it funny, whenever we do a blue bundle like this, Hannah always says, oh, I put a bit of optical white with that, like the crest on the top of the wave. And Hannah, they've, they've, they've listened to you. Three and a half metres of optical white and then uh, three metres of the, you know, half metre of each of those, plus your instructions, plus your thread, 59.99. Free P and P, remember? Free P and P. Should I do the wadding while I'm over here? Because sometimes we, sometimes we just forget to talk about wadding, don't we? Then I've, then I've done it then, haven't I? And you can get this. Uh, there are so many different waddings and battings that you can get. This is the one we've 
free PMP. This is the one we've chosen for today. But if you've got if you've got diff a different one that you like, then you can go to the website and choose. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. It's a batting twin size, seventy-two inches by ninety inches. That's very reasonable, isn't it? Nineteen ninety-nine. Very good value for money that one. So if you think either of them, the white one or the cream one, it's very good because it's warm and white. Now, sometimes the label on the front is different because they're changing their packaging, aren't they? So some of them have got like a, a drawing of a, just a pencil drawing on there. Okay, should we go on meter then? Is she ready? Has she stopped fiddling with that sewing machine? Oh, she's ready. Oh, she's got attitude. She's got attitude. Um, now, this is Sally Stevens, who we've been talking about all week. Come here. Hello. Hello. Oh, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How good. are you? This is Sally, everybody. It's her first time, so be gentle with her. Um, and now, there's two Sallys. If you confuse it, oh, I have got the, I'll just get the instructions. If you, this is Sally Stevens, and then this lady that's designed it is called Sally Ablett. Now, she's that's a friend right. of yours, she isn't is. she? She is. So, who is she and who are you? So, I'm, um, by trade, as you were, um, a quilt magazine editor, do a bit of designing. I'm also a quilter as a hobby. Of course. Um, and Sally is also a designer and she loves to make quilts. And um, so we've known each other quite some years. Oh, well, not that many years, because you're younger than me, I think. <laughs> and I'm only 39. <laughs> uh, right, so you need to have this ruler to be able to make this quilt, Yes, don't you? you do. OK, so I'll put that there. I just want to tell you about Sa the other Sally, first of all. Is she watching? Has she set her video today? I hope so. Yeah, blooming it. We've got up early on a Saturday morning. Sally has been a quilt making for... Well, that gives her age away. Nearly 30 years. She's a regular contributor to Love Patchwork and Quilting and to Today's Quilter. So, uh, there you go. She hasn't got a blog. Normally they have like a blog or a, a website underneath, but she hasn't got hers written on here. Anyway, we'll find out for you. Um, so, you need to buy the ruler so, uh, to make this quilt. Lots of people have already bought it from us. Yeah. Is it, because I think it looks, before you came in, I thought, oh, that's going to be so complicated yeah. and time consuming. But it's not. Oh, but it's not. It's not, apparently. <laughs> so, let's start. So, we've got the kit. The kit's arrived in the, in the post and the, the ruler's arrived. Where do, where do we start? What do we do? OK, so there are four um, ruler templates that right. you can see here. Yeah. Um, the large centre one, which is this sort of star shape, yeah. is what goes in the centre of the quilt here. And is that the only place it goes? That's the only place okay, it goes. OK, that's perfect, right. And then you have this one, which they've called a melon. Don't we call that? And we got that. An, don't we call that an orange peel or something like? We've got another ruler that shape. Yes. Orange peel. Anyway, and you could use it for that type of project oh, okay. as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that's a melon. But it's called a what melon. What do they call here. that one then? Oh, centre. Centre. Okay. Centre and melon. They don't even spell it right. Oh. Tsh. <laughs> yes, from America, obviously, <laughs> isn't it? Right. So the centre, and then we've got the melon. Yes. Now, is the melon only used for? Only used for this part here. Right. Okay. Perfect. And then you have this arch shape, which they just call Unit A and B. Oh, they haven't thought this through, have they, the, the naming it's, of these? They're not, they're not fun names, are they? Uh, so that's the A and B template. That's right. And that will form these little parts here. Are so A and that's, B the that's same? A, they are. They are. It's just the one will be on the inside. Oh, yes. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Right. Um, oh, and then this, you have this, oh, yeah. this smaller piece here, which is the corners, which is what goes... Here. Oh, yes. Why have you got a little arrow on yours? Because it isn't quite a square. If I put it on the mat here, I don't know whether you can see that. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah, we can come in on that. So you've got a right angle here. OK, there you go, you've got a right angle on that corner. Oh, yes! But it's not a, a right angle there. So that's a point. So that's reminding you that that's the uneven one. So that's reminding one. me that it's to go towards the centre of the melon. OK. OK? Yeah. Because if you um, turn it the other way around, it, it'll be one. Well, and also, uh, the R fabrics are fine because they're not directional. But if you're making no. it and you're fussy cutting or something, exactly. and you've got 20 f animals looking that way and one looking that that's way, right. then it's, yeah, exactly. That's right. So oh, I think how that's... funny, because I, I wouldn't have even noticed that. I'd just, I'd just automatically cut out. But yes, yes. it's definitely on the, on the wonk, as it they is, say, isn't it? It is, it is. And, oh, and it's deliberately designed because that piece goes at the end of this arch. Right. And so it continues to form the curve. If you had it pointing the other way, it wouldn't form a proper curve. Oh, You'd end yes. up with a bit of a right angle yes. in there. So it needs to be that way around. So I just did that for my own benefit. No, no, but also no, but I'd sensible. Recommend so, it so recommend it when you get it home. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's Sally's first tip. 
first Sally's tip. first tip. Now, I've got a message for you already. Good morning and welcome to the family, Sally. Our John and Hannah will look after you. Enjoy your first show of many. Lots of love, Ali. Thank you. That's nice, Thank you. isn't it? Yes, it right. is. So where do we start then? So we start with the cutting out. So I'll start with the smallest piece. Right, I've just put the iron on for you if you need Thank the iron. Thank you, yes, we will do. So for each of the, if I go back to the quilt, yep. each of these melon pieces, this is what we're going to make a number of these. That's oh, so you make those So up you make first. all of those first, and then we put the centres in. Oh, so, I see. I can see it now. Yep. So you've got one melon there, you've yep. got one melon there, one there, one there, and then you put the centre in. That's but then right. that's the, that bit there then becomes the start of that one over there, that's isn't right. it? That's right. And so depending where you put your coloured fabrics, that makes the circle. The right. Ring, and the second ring. Oh, yes, you have to be careful then, because you don't want to have a blue one there and a purple one there. You've got That's to keep right. an eye on which one's That's your... right. So what I would recommend is yeah. if you've got um, a, a, a copy of the, the, the actual quilt pattern, you could write on it, and I'll show you my scribbles, although... Oh, know. yes, let's have a look at yours. So I just... The um, printing isn't very good, right. but I just scribbled. So you numbered your so fabrics, yeah. and you made sure that you... Yes, yeah. yes. So I would recommend that, but um, with the colourway that you've got there, it's a little bit more obvious. Yes, but the blue... With, this, with these um, colourways, a yeah. little bit closer together. And, and also, turn. once you've got the instructions and the, and the um, ruler, you could be making out of all, you know, all sorts of things and that might not absolutely. be as obvious as this absolutely. one. Yeah. Okay, yes, absolutely, yes, absolutely. And as you mentioned earlier, keep hold of the instruction oh, yes, card on the back right. there. Yeah. Um, it's got yeah. all the instructions that you need to do variations as well. So you could, if you wanted to, instead oh, of having a yes. single solid piece in the middle, you could have... That would make it look completely different, it though, would. wouldn't it? it so would. instead of having... We've got solid whites in the centre of our, our yep. uh, circles. That one's got, like, party colour, doesn't it? Four different colours in there. And the same with the... Um, with the melon. With the melon as well. So you could do the multicoloured melons and centre star, I'm calling it. it yes, yeah. And then have... Com Completely plain white or cream rings. Oh, yeah. Completely swap it around. And, and also, the thing that was, because I had never, uh, my background is in dressmaking, not in quilting. And I always thought, when I first started, I was like, oh, you're just sewing. You know, as in, oh, you just make the same thing over and over again. But you could make that quilt in so many different colourways, and it's, yep. they're going to look completely different. Absolutely, aren't they? yes, absolutely. I'm, I'm a convert, by the way. I just think quilting is absolutely fantastic. And if you're making perhaps for like a golden wedding or something, you might want golden rings. Oh, golden. Oh, there's more than five on there for Christmas, isn't there? Look at this one. Look at this one. Uh, we'll just have a look at this. Who's this from? This is from M. She's used a pretty good ruler. OK, she used the melon shape and then the inside. Oh, I see. So she's done a nine patch and then she's cut away using the melon yes. shape at the corners yes. and then put a different fabric in there. She said the ruler is great value for money because you can use it for so many things. I like that because that would look lovely in my Indian princess bedroom. Who's that from? M. M. That's lovely. Anyway. Yes, I mean, these, these could be used to make petals of a large flower, leaves. Yes, um, well, Aunt Lucy did a shape this, that two days ago. She, she was doing a shape like exactly like that. Yes. And like I said, we've done, I think it's called lemon peel like that as well. Orange using, peel. Orange peel. Called, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Orange peel, lemon peel. Well. Um, but yes, but, but, but it, so you could use that for something. You could use that for something. Yes. You can use that. You can use all the bits you individually. Can. I can't mean, you? I was thinking with this one, say if you've got a, 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 a plain centre piece of fabric, you could use it to make little oh, arches. Oh, yes. Um, and although we won't go into that today, I don't know whether you can see on the, the template here, it shows Ooh. you how Have you, you been practising this? There's me. She's just... She's brilliant, isn't she? You're absolutely fantastic. You've thought everything through. It's normally on Pit Guest's first one, it's like, oh, I won't know what to say, I won't know what to do, and it, I'm just standing here enjoying this. Oh, it's like you're an old you. member of the fa Not old. You're a member of the family <laughs> already. What, do you, what are you going to show us? So what I was going to show you is that on this template, if you can, you can see yeah, it, look, there, there. there are dotted lines showing you different segments. Right. So instead of having a plain piece of fabric for your curve, for your oh melon, you could actually word. have that multicoloured. Would you? But would you? Uh, you right, probably then want a plain centre. Yes, but I'm just wondering how you do that because that needs to have, that, that wouldn't have seam allowance on it. Would you have to sew the stripes together first? Yeah. 
and then and then cut it out. Oh, yes. that that sounds yeah. nice. But it does right. explain that on the instructions. Oh yes, 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 yeah. all there. Yeah, it's all there. Right, loads. You're checking out the ruler. Congratulations if you got it. It is a fantastic ruler. Right, shall we make a quilt then? We'll have a go. Yes. A whole quilt. Yeah. Oh yes, please. And bound <laughs> and finished. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so I'll start with this little um, corner piece because that's the smallest one. Yeah. You can cut multi layers if you want to, because you do have to cut quite a few of these. So is this left over from some, that, that shape? That's is from left a, over. what I've, yeah. OK, brilliant. Yeah, because I don't like wasting fabric. No, no what quilter does? <laughs> uh, they, like the other day, Jane Alcott was in and she was the little corner. She was saying, so half an inch up in, then she made the tiny little squares to make something else yes, out of. Yes, I throw very little um, away. There was something I had to say. The blue bundles across the bottom, the rulers... Right. Oh, everything in this bundle to make the top and the binding, definitely. And we think that you might be able to patch the backing as well, but we're not guaranteeing that one. But we think... Yeah. That you had a lot of fabric left over from the cutting, over. didn't you? Yes. Right. Yeah. So... So, with a, a rotary cutter, we're just going to cut out. Now, you, you can cut it on the straight of grain, which is normally what's recommended. Right. But because most of this project is, in fact, on the bias, when you come to sew it, it's not a really big problem. Right. But we will just cut this one out. So where is your straight... Hang on, where's your straight grain on that one? Across there. Across there, OK. So one of the straight lines. Yeah, OK. OK. And you can obviously use a... Um, Rotating cutting. Well, I was going this if you want to. <laughs> I'm just taking the words out of my mouth. I was about to say, no, it's good. I was about to say, of course, you can always get the rotating cutting mat if it's still in stock on the on the on the uh, website. But um... okay. Okay. What do we do with these? Oh, this is your, either on the floor or your bins there. <laughs> okay, and as I was saying, you can cut multiple layers because all of the templates are actually reversible. It doesn't matter that you've got one piece of your fabric right way up and one the other way. Oh, okay, yeah. perfect. It, it, it's, it works out the same way. So now, on the ruler, you've got your little arrow. Yep. How do you, once you've cut them all out, yep. how do you know which of those that corner is? Well, all, I do, all I've done myself when I'm just putting it together is, again, check on a mat. Oh, okay. Which are the two square yeah. angles, or just, you know, double check with your, yeah. your, your, your ruler. I might get a marker pen. When I was cutting it out, yeah. and just put a little dot yes. on the wrong side. Or yes, it which whatever. Side. Yeah. As long as you don't cover that little hole. Yeah. Because these holes are actually very important. Oh. The holes on the... F have they all got holes, then? They've or is it just holes. that one? They've all got holes. Look, here we go, I'll show holes. And the holes are very important. Oh, OK. So they like notches in dressmaking, then? I suppose they would be the same principle, yes. This yeah. is where we're going to make sure that the individual pieces join up really neatly together, and I'll show you technique for making sure... Brilliant. ..as best as we can that okay. that works out. OK, so for every melon... Yes. ..which is one of these... One of those. ..we need... Two different fabrics for the top and bottom, but the same fabric at each end. Oh. You don't have to. No, 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 but, but to get the effect nice that you've effect. done. So you've got two different colours, a top colour and a bottom colour, but on the, the bottom colour, both of the endings are the same colour. Yes. Oh, no, no, it's the same colour for both endings when you join them together. Yeah, so it's that piece So for, for a melon, you need a top, a bottom, a middle and two ends. Yeah, The two ends right. are the same colour. That's right. So yeah. again, in that one, the two ends are the same colour. It doesn't matter which colours, you can mix and match. Yeah, yeah. Or if you've cut out all the pieces, which on the instructions it tells you how many to cut, you can then just lay it out and have a little yes, play. Yes, exactly. Okay. So that's so we'll our cut two, two of those pieces. Out. We will cut one of these. Now, you're cutting on a curve there. Would you always use your 45 millimetre or would you use a smaller rotary cutter? Well, when I tr tried this out, I thought this isn't going to work with a 45 mil, but it does. Oh, okay, brilliant. But even with this one, the angle of the curves must have been designed specifically. Oh. I have used a, a smaller one, but if you're going to be cutting multiple layers, a larger yes, of course. blade is, is better. So. Okay. Now, you know, you say you teach classes, well, you go to classes. Both. Because um, uh, your lady's nick a lot thing, you've got your name twice on your rotary cutter. You've got it felt pen and a label. On. <laughs> it isn't so much that they nick them, but if they borrow them, which they do when I'm teaching, it's They'll nice... all be watching, so you yeah, watch what they you will. Yeah. It'd be nice to know who to return it to. OK, then. All right. Yeah. Right, the finished size of the quilt is... I've got it here, I've seen it. 48, but I can't see that without my glasses. What was it? 48 by 62. Oh, there, I can see it now. 48 by 62. Oh, it's changed colour as well. 48 by 62. It's a good throw size. I mean, um, if you wanted to make it bigger, obviously. Well, you could do, but that's a nice size, isn't it? But as you said, there was a bit of fabric left over, wasn't there? So you could carry on making more. You could. And um, I, I, I thought another nice idea would be just to make... 
if you just made these three rings yeah and backed and bound those you'd have quite a nice little table runner oh yes yes yeah oh no and you've also, you've also got we won't say the other one yet but when you get to doing thing you've got another idea for the other yes, one as well haven't that's you? right yeah okay so on. i wobbled this a bit now because we were oh, hopping wait, about wait wait you <laughs> <laughs> so here we go so um, it was historically made by mothers and grandmothers for their children's on their children on their wedding days, which or anniversary. Yeah, I think it was traditional going back a long, long time to make twelve. Twelve quilts, quilts. Mm. for, for one bottom person. drawer. Ooh. Mm. Well, Anna's bottom drawer is going to be huge by the time she gets married. They probably it? had lots of children they needed. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, yes, but also, yes, if you make 12, then at least they're already there, ready, aren't That's they? Right. Give her the blue one. Also, well, the one, give her the red one. You wouldn't have time to, to make the quilts after you'd had the children. No, right? exactly. Right. So, I've already cut another Good. one out. Yeah. So, we're going to join these together okay. with our centre melon piece. Do you want me to cut a, a one of those? No, 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 well? no, no, you're fine. If you've, okay. got, if you've got enough cut out for the demonstration, I have, yeah, that's yeah, fine then, yeah, just do that. Plenty. Yeah, because we're nearly halfway through already. Okay, so this is where the dots are important. We turn to the wrong side. Yes. And popping your template on the back of the fabric. A pencil. You can use one of our um, retracting pencils for this as well. But, uh, you, you can, um, you can use any fa fabric marker that you might have yeah um yeah because joe carter always uses the um terracotta one doesn't she the wash wash away one there's a free one with today's quilter <laughs> there's a free one with today's quilter apparently and did I we get that one hannah oh yes we did yeah we've got that we've got that already and that's what i've used because it's a really nice color okay right. so we, we should mark our dots yes on the back of the fabrics. I don't sure. know whether you can see them. We can see the dots. On the, show them on this one. Show them on this one because we can see them on that yeah. one there. Can you see those? All the dots marked on the... They're, so they're like notches when you're doing your dressmaking. Just your dots on there. Right. Same on this one. So the, the templates, the pattern on the rulers, they've got the, the quarter inch seam allowance included, haven't they? That's right. And the dots are on the quarter inch seam allowance so that when you join the pieces together... That but there's a lot of curves. That's, that's the, the thing that I think people find a bit daunting yes, to start yeah. with, but we've got a neat little way of getting around that. Okay, brilliant. So move those out of the way. So we start off by constructing the first part of the melon shape, which I'll show you a finished one. Oh. So you can see what looks that like. It's like a flying like. saucer at that point. It does. It does, yes. Or a big smile. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, big smile. And a quarter of the stock of the blue has been checked out, by the way, just so you know. So we've got our dots marked on the wrong side. Right. We now need lots, lots of pins, but not as many as traditionally you would need. Oh, okay. Traditionally, you would gather this all up and you'd pin, 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 which is fine, but if you're like me, you end up pranking yourself with a pin. Yes, when well, you're quite accent floor. prone, aren't you? Oh, <laughs> you could say that, yes. Yes. So yes, what it, are you doing then? It would be quicker to list the bits of me that do work. Than oh, the... don't. <laughs> right, OK. Right. So we pop a pin yeah. through the dot. Yeah, they're just coming into you. Mm. Now, there you go. It doesn't matter whether you do this from the melon side or the archy side. Yeah. Pop your pin through the dot at the top and bring it out through Brilliant. the dot in the second. Yeah. Okay, and you do that on all, all the dots, do you? One step at a time. Oh. Won't jump ahead. <laughs> no, because there, there is a, you know, a There's technique a to it. Yes, madness, there is. Yeah. So a little tip, another tip I've got is when you put the pin through, let your pin sort of dangle vertically. Right. Because it's very easy to squinch it along and think, oh, yeah, I've put... Oh, yes. But then the, whole, the holes don't match up. So that's a useful... For, yeah. for any seam or matching that you're doing, that's yeah. a useful tip. So I'll pin that through. Right. Then we need another pin to match the outside corners. Right. And this is where you think, well, that's not going to fit. Well, no, this is like a princess seam on the on the. I, I don't know if you do dressmaking, but I'm princess seam is very much like this. Is you have yeah. one seam going that way, one seam going that way. You think these are never ever going to match. So again, pin through, let it drop down. Yeah. 
and secure the two layers together, you will see that there is a little extra bit of... Oh, yeah, like a, a dog end, yeah, a yeah, dog ear. That's meant to be. Don't yeah. think you've got to join that to the top because... That's well, it's because they're on two different angles, aren't they, they at are. this point? Yeah. Yes, they are. So we'll do the same thing with this one. OK, pin while you it. pin that one, we've had an email from who to say, Christine, Chris, Christine has emailed in. She says, hi, John, welcome Miss Sally to oh, the Miss team. Sally. Miss Sally. Oh, that <laughs> might be a nice nickname for you, Miss Sally. Yeah. <laughs> I love this quilt. And I wish it was what? A pay day to day, but it's Monday. Oh. She'd get this, because her husband, what? Gary. 26th wedding anniversary. On the 23rd. Oh, happy anniversary of the 23rd. Oh, yes, if socks last. Well, uh, Monday. Am I in on Monday? I'll remind you on Monday. I'll remind you if it's still free on Monday. Or which colourway do you like best? I'll make sure there's one. Oh, I'll try and make sure there's one still available. Can't guarantee that. Can't guarantee that. But happy anniversary for the 26th. 26th, did you say? Yeah. 23rd, but it's 26th. Yeah, man. OK. And this is beautiful fabric. It cuts brilliantly. It presses brilliantly. It's, it's a smashing fabric. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. This, this bijou, it's all the bijou range. This one's our core fabrics. One of our core fabrics. So now you've got to join those yes. two edges, and it looks like it's not going to work. As I've said, what you would normally do is pin, 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 pin all of that, yeah. and it will create a curve. Yeah. But that takes a long time, and it is a bit messy. So, thank you. We go for the magic fabric glue pen. Yeah, fabric pen, fabric glue pen. So line. Uh, now, don't panic if you're thinking, oh, that's white fabric, that's white fabric, she's putting bright yellow on it, it dries clear, you can machine through it, it doesn't make your needle claggy, and if you won't wash it, it disappears completely. Uh, you do get one refill, so you get one in there already and one refill, but if you go to our website, you can... Oh, now the refill's blue, it's telling me now. Um, they're all different colours, blue, yellow, pink, but they all dry clear, and we sell more of these, if you've already got it. Not sure if they're in stock at the moment, but just keep your eye out. We do get them in stock in stock quite regularly. They do go out quite quickly because so many people have bought those. Right. Yes, and you can see on the samples I've made up, there's no obvious... No, no residue. I mean, my dodgy eyes getting into straight lines. Now, I wasn't going to mention your dodgy eyes, <laughs> but I did mention it. Her husband heard it yesterday, and I said, uh, she's got a dodgy eye and a gammy leg. It's not funny, but it is funny. You had an awful car accident. Not her fault. Big lorry went into the back of her, didn't it? I knee. And now... Um, can I tell the story? Of course you can. Uh, all sorts of things going wrong, but you're fine, aren't you? I'm fine. I, I think that. But her eyelashes went the wrong, started going the wrong way, didn't they? So she had to go and see a specialist. The specialist said, just give you a little jab and it'll sort it out. The jab, of course, is Botox, isn't it? So they put the Botox in, uh, not around here, just here and here, right? Um, eyelashes, brilliant, but then it relaxed the back of the eye muscle, didn't it? So the eyes, so you, she can see tw two of everything. She can see two of you, two of you, 12 cameras. She can, so, so she's fine and we're not making, we're not making a joke of it, no, but you make fine. a joke of it. I do make that. a joke of it, might as well. But we are doing a double wedding ring. We are. <laughs> so it's, oh, it's, I thought it was only a single one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, so that if you if uh, Sally mentioned I already it's because of that thing. Right. Okay. And close up is fine. Yeah. Close up is fine. And I wouldn't mind, but they didn't take the wrinkles out. Well, no. But you could, if you know, I used to have a seventeen when I had my Botox used in the old days. Seventeen injections I used to have. <gasps> oh. I know. I've got a lot of wrinkles. That have filler as well. Anyway, look. Look at the time. We've got to get on. Get on. Right. Right. So, hope you can see because it is quite a, a light colour. This this yellow. So we're just going to draw basically try not to drag the fabric because again this is on the bias so we don't stretch it you could do just, dots i suppose couldn't you, you could well. do dots although it, this works better if you do a, oh, a okay line. <laughs> wrong again job because <laughs> this is why you're saving the pinning yeah. so then just drop your, your fabric down to create a little arch little curve oh how brilliant yes like and the glue holds quite well. You can just hold it together with your thumb and finger just to yeah. warm the glue a little bit to make it stick well. I would just put another one pin in, but you don't really... Just really to hold the to. excess fabric. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And we do the same on the other side. Okay. And the same again. Just drop, drop the fabrics down. It doesn't matter which way you, yeah. you do it. I'm trying to... Show to the camera there. Yeah, it's perfect. It's mid screen, you've got it exactly right. Okay. And just another pin there. Yeah. So you'll have a nice curve there. Yeah. And a frilly side. Yes. Here. 
like a little bonnet. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> uh, and now, how would you, now, before you go to the machine, which side do you stitch from? Does it matter? It doesn't matter. Um, I've tried it both ways. Um, perceived wisdom has it that you should sew with the... In dressmaking, yeah, you sew yeah. With, the, with the full one that, up the top. That's but right. Joe Carter doesn't always do it that way. No, right? and I don't really think it makes a great deal of no. difference. Because because you've glued it, where you're going to stitch is flat anyway, isn't it? Because now right. you've pushed your excess fabric exactly. out of the way. Exactly, the excess is just... Because with pins, if you had all your pins going around, there's still the chance that you're going to get a, a little tuck a little or something, tuck. isn't it, or pucker. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas this way, it goes um, It's much smoother, much smoother okay? and much quicker. Okay. So I've got a quarter-inch foot on the sewing machine. Yeah. Um, and on this machine, I've pushed it over, the needle over to the far right. But Brilliant. Obviously, try that on your own machine yes, first. And I will just quickly show you, if I may. Yeah. One of the reasons to do a little test and little check is. Oh, is that this your how not to do this it? This is my one? how not to do okay. it. This is a little finished melon. Yes. But as you can see, the seams don't quite match. You're it. such a perfectionist. Yeah. They're Han we call those the Hannah finish, because that's what hers <laughs> look like. So, so, so you're going to show us how to stop it from, from missing? Like yes, that. that's right, because you need to check your quarter inch. is a quarter inch, but also show you another technique for okay. getting... OK, I'm just showing you. Look, because that is like, that's, that's like a quarter... I mean, it's so close, but it's going to, you're going to see it, aren't you? You are going to see it. Right, OK. It would annoy me. Yes. Good morning, John John and Miss Sally. This is the quilt I want to make before I'm 80. I've just started my first quilt at 66. Good for you, Tricia okay. Ann. You've got loads of time. Plenty of time. Yes. OK, so we're just going to sew a quarter inch seam. I would suggest that you sew perhaps a little bit slower than you normally might. What, doing the curve? Doing the curve. Well, you can always, that machine's all got a fast, you've got it on fastest setting. You can set it to a much, that'll be too slow for you, I imagine, the slow Well, throw. yeah, I, I mean, I, tend to operate with the foot pedal anyway yes. on, on the speed but so we're just going to go gently I don't know whether the camera can see but lifting yeah. the back yeah yeah we've got that good part. shot good yeah. shot good shot why are you lifting it then because it's a curved piece if I press it flat oh you're gonna get you're gonna get I'm gonna make ruckles yeah. in it that's a tip we've not seen before Oh, Beverly. And Bev uh, Beverly's mentioned in a lot of time. How are you, my love, Beverly? Uh, Beverly has. Uh, yeah, we haven't heard from you a while, have we? Uh, she's got a, a, an eye condition as well. Oh, and she right. says she can't focus distance or up close, but we manage to make the best of it. Yeah, you have to. You have to. I mean, you have to. Yeah, do the yeah. things you love. If you love doing it, then just keep going. You That's know right. I mean? That's right. It's just I can't drive at the moment, which is a bit of a. Oh, but that's annoying you because you love your freedom, don't I do. you? I do. I like to get out. So do you have to rely on your husband yes. to drive you everywhere? Oh. Yeah. Which he doesn't Are you a backseat but... driver as well? Probably. <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> okay. He drives very well, but he can't reverse. Oh, can't he? Mm. <laughs> oh. So you got that. Paul, he's called, isn't he? Paul, Paul you're a rubbish driver. <laughs> she said it, not me. But he's a brilliant cook. Oh, oh, well, that's better then. That's better. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So that's our first seam sew. Yeah. Now we need to iron it, please. Right, while you're ironing, I'm going to go on to do bundles, if that's all right. So, so, is, or is there a tip to the ironing? There's a tip to the... Oh, we won't go anywhere then. Do the, we'll do the ironing first, then I'll go. That was Hannah okay. getting me to go over. So when you come to iron this, you're only wanting to iron the very edge of yes. it. And I always, when I've stitched a seam, I always press it as it was stitched. Right. That's so called to set setting the seam. seam. Yeah. 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 yeah, which is probably standard, but just thought... Well, of some it. people do and some people don't. I do. It, it just helps the stitches to bed into the fabric. Yeah. And then when you turn out your seam, it gives you a crisper finish. So in this example, because we've got white fabric here, I'll be pressing towards the dark side. Um, I think that's fairly yes. standard Also, as well. I think when you do a curve, sometimes the fabric tells you which way it wants to go, It does. It? I think it does tend to want to go yeah. that way. So I'm just going to press yeah, that. Yeah, do that. You've got an email from who, do you say? M. Emily. Using the glue for the curve on the double wedding ring. Fabulous idea. If you lie the fabric on very fine sandpaper, when you glue it, the fabric doesn't move. That's a good tip. So it's easier to glue. That's a very good tip. Sandpaper. I haven't seen sandpaper for years. No. No, I don't do DIY. I get someone in. <laughs> right. 
Oh, so you know you've got exactly you've got one, you've so got what got, we've got so yeah, far. Is exactly. There. Okay. Right. Before you go on to anything else, I need to go and do fabric. Don't do anything. We okay. don't want to miss out on anything. Right. Very quickly, let's do fabric bundles then. Oh, the ruler. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. What's going on? Thirty-seven pounds and forty-nine pence. That's a funny price, isn't it? Thirty-seven pounds and forty-nine pence. Free P and P. Remember, ignore the two ninety-five. Free P and P up until midnight on Sunday. Uh, to the whole of that rule, all four of those rulers you get for thirty-seven pounds and forty-nine pence. Comes to a kit like that. Lots of you already got it, so we didn't put it into the bundle like we normally do. So the one on the wall there is uh, this one. So in this one, you get three and a half metres of your antique white. You get half a metre of each of these uh, bijoux. Now, this is identical to the one on the wall, apart from the grey. The grey one's slightly different. That grey one there is slightly paler. Plus the instructions, plus the thread, £59.99. A third of that stock, 9.36 on uh, Saturday morning, and a third of that stock has gone already. OK. And then I'm moving on now to the other one. There it is, there, there it is. Front and binding, and we think that you'll be able to patch your back, back, uh, back as well, backing as well, okay? The blue, which is actually in the lead, the one that uh, Sally's making, this optical white, three and a half metres of optical white, then half a metre of all these lovely spectrum solids. I don't know, um, bijou, bijou, bijou. OK, when you've all checked out the basket, half the stock of those have gone. OK, going back, going back, because I need to see more sewing. Right. So this was stage one. Yes. Joining your first curve to the centre okay. melon. This is going to be stage two. So th let's get rid of that one, because okay. that's not how not to do it, isn't yes. it? <laughs> so we've done stage one. So stage so two is isn't stage sewing two. the other side of this. Not yet. OK. So the, with this stage, you join the two little end pieces right. to the centre cut. Okay. Now so, that would be the simplest one, surely. It is, it is. Um, make sure that, yeah. as I say, that your point <laughs> is yeah. the right way round. Okay. So the point where you had the arrow yep. goes to the inside of the curve. That's right, yes. So towards yeah, the inside. Perfect. So like that. So this is, as you say, fairly straightforward. Just match your two um, edges. And again, you'll have a little tiny. Should it here. be right side? Should it be right should, side together? No, no, no. I just, I just, I'm only asking. I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Well, it's that <laughs> accident, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You know, apparently, the setup says you're the only one that's glad I'm here. That's nice, isn't Aww. it? I put, I have to put up with this every day. So oh. So you can pin that. You may not need to pin it really, no. but I'll, but I'll go for it. No glue on this one. Then. No glue on this one. No, because it's not a curve. No. It's just a straight line, but still a quarter inch seam. Oh, uh, the finish size, uh, Beverly's saying she's loving the demo, uh, Sally. The finish size was four, 48 inches across by 62 drop. But there's fabric left over, so you could maybe make it bigger. I'll sew the other side without pinning. The what is? Oh, OK. I thought they'd been fixed. Oh, OK. OK. So that's... Stage two, which again, we right. press. Well, I thought you were handing it to me to press then. <laughs> uh, again, set the seam. Yeah. Pressing as sewn. Would you, do you ever um, best press or starch your fabric beforehand? Oh, you do? Yes, I do. I don't tend to starch. I do use best press, best press yes. Yeah. Um, particularly when I'm first pressing out a large piece of fabric. Oh, right at the, be right at the beginning. Right at the beginning, yeah. It's actually just to get rid of your... It's, it's, would you use, do you use best press like we used to use Fabulon, where you spray it and it makes it easy to iron, it gets rid of the creases better? It gets rid of the creases easier, yeah, definitely. And it also stabilises the fabric, because on the um, quilt as you go, you can't iron... I don't know if you do quilt as you go, but yes, you can't iron as you go along, can you, really? No. So it's good to get the fabric yeah. nice and sturdy. It is, before, it is. It? So that's your second stage. It doesn't really matter, I've found, whether you press... In in or out. Well, I suppose it also depends on what, what colours you're using. If yeah. you've got a pale exactly. colour there, then you'd press it the other way. Exactly. Wouldn't you? Okay, so, so that's, that's stage two. Piece. So I'll join a light to a dark here, so it's more. Yeah. More. So that was obvious. just. A, yeah. So that was just a sample one. Yeah. So again, we need pins and glue. 
Okay. Pin through the dot, out through the other dot. Wiggle it so that your pin is vertical. Okay. Secure. Just so you know, you've got about 15 minutes left of the hour. Good Lord. I told you it goes fast. I told you it flies by. Because no. you're having fun, you see, that's fine. Yes, why. I am. Oh, good. <laughs> I am, John, yeah. <laughs> now we're going to go through the end pieces next. Yeah. So we go through the, the, the little marker again there and out through the one on this side. I used a little red marker for this one because it's a darker fabric. Yeah. It was easier to see. And match that up. So you've got, again, your two straight edges. Okay. And I'd do that on both ends. Okay. Uh, just so you know, half of the blue bundle has been checked out already. There's lots in baskets as well, but half of it has been bought. It's gone. That's the one that Sally's working with there. That's the one you're seeing there. Six and a half metres. Now, if you need to buy the uh, ruler as well, that's going across the bottom there from Creative Goods. No PMP though. Till Sunday night at midnight, it stops. OK, now, before we do the gluing, yeah. um, we need to make sure these seams Oh, yes, up. that was where, okay. from the one where... That's yeah, right, yeah. that's right. Now, the tendency, perhaps, would be for you to think, oh, I'll join where the stitch lines are, top yeah. and bottom, I'll join those together. Yeah. But that wouldn't be right. Because it's on a curve, you'll find that your quarter inch suddenly is quite a way out. Oh, uh, yeah, which causes that width step yes, on the one that yes. not to do. So, again, using your dots, there'll be a dot on this pointy edge here. Right. Be a dot on the back there. So that's where uh, you join yes. it. So, so it you might, can your see things might look as though they're off. They, they look like they're off, but they're not. Yeah, I would. I would instantly match ma match them up. And that's what Hannah's saying upstairs. Yes. She's like, oh, yeah. Yes, which you would do on straight things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it makes sense when you think about yeah. it. But yeah. if you, you're you so used to matching seam seams, like if you're doing like a nine patch, you match the seam That's seams. Right. It's a straight line, That's don't you? That's right. So this is why the dots are so important. The, this the is like in dressmaking. The notches are there for a reason. Lots of people think, oh, I can't bother putting the notches in. I'll be fine. But actually, they're there. Oh, the they designer of the ruler has done yes. it on purpose. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm doing this a little bit quickly, so perhaps yeah, that's uh, right. you know it, it may not. Uh... So you wouldn't? Would you not glue that first bit then in real life? Don't bother because no. it's a straight, straight line. Straight line. Okay. So again, we're just doing our little glue line. Drop it down. Oops. There's the. Uh... And when, this is a yellow glue stick. A, the, yours gets a, the one you buy as a blue refill at the moment, but they all do the same job. Yeah, they all do the same job. It doesn't matter. So again, I've just pushed that together with my fingers, pin through just as an extra security. Glue the rest of the curve. Yeah. So there's quite a few of these melons to make, aren't there? There One, are. One, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's 10 in a row. Oh, no, no, you can't say that there, can you? Because you already counted that one. 10, 11, 12. Yeah, it was lots. <laughs> <laughs> it tells you in the instructions how many to make. And with this one, where you've got a, a plain center, I'd suggest making all your melons first, laying them out, yes. making sure you've got your circles correct. You can label them up if you want to for each mm -hmm. row. Yeah, it could be nothing worse than putting them all together and finding the last, or you the get there the and the one, yeah. It's always the one in the middle. The one in the middle is the wrong way round <laughs> or whatever, and so you've got to start all over again. That's right. So I'm stitching again, so I'm going a little bit quick here, but... Yeah, don't mind. I'm just going to get rid of You've got a tiny bit of there. glue on the end of your finger there, I don't Ooh. want to stick into anything. I'm a terror with glue. Are you? Yeah, well, it gets everywhere. Yeah. Oh, what do you need glue for, Hannah? Oh, a letterbox is broke. I thought she meant for a fabric, and a letterbox is for nothing inside the house. <laughs> I don't think the fabric will work. I don't think this fabric, this will work, <laughs> Hannah. Oh, heavens, what have I done there? It sometimes beeps that machine when you're, when you're ready to go and it's not. Fair enough. It was my gummy leg as well, so. Yeah, that, we'll blame that. <laughs> That's right. Oh, gosh, so it's your, it's your f foot presser yeah, yeah, yeah. leg, isn't oh, yes. it? Oh, yes, yes, for a few days. Wasn't able to do it. 
Well, it's a foot presser and the knee presser, isn't it? Oh, you couldn't, definitely couldn't use the knee presser then if you've got a gander. No, knee. I do use a knee lift normally. A oh, knee lift, yeah. Um, but, uh, no. But you can't stand him up anyway, so... No, you can't, no. OK, what are you going to sell us now, then? So... Oh, no, just go. coming out. Just I coming out. Right. And again, we've got exactly the same thing. Press it out in yes. exactly the same way. And so I was rushing a little bit, but you can see... Oh, no, they're the perfect, tip, your the corners there. The... And these these will press out. These aren't yes, puckers, they're, not they're creases. just going to press out. No, yeah. they're just because I was leaning on, on yeah. them. You know, so I've just put a crease in there. OK, perfect. OK. So you make lots and lots of those. So lots and lots of those. I have some here already made. <laughs> yes. So the next stage is to sew them to this centrepiece. Right. So I've got a, one of these. Do you make this most messed at home? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Have you got a big table to work on at home? Well, I, I don't tend to work from home as much because home became my sewing room. Oh. All of it. Um, so I actually bought, about two years ago now, a static caravan, which is my studio. Oh, wow. It's got a kitchen. Is it in, near your house? It's not far, yes. Oh, yes, oh so you go to your I studio to and it. come home, so yes. all your sewing kit isn't clutching up Paul's... OK, let's not go there. Let's not go there. Divorce courts, so I'm seeing. Right. <laughs> and my mum lives next door to my sewing studio, which is Oh, that's handy. Nice. It is. Yes, it is. So this is the next stage. Right. We're going to join these. And it's exactly the same principle. So do you want me to carry on yeah, doing, yeah, yeah, doing yeah. this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long have we got? Yes, yes, you can join, you can join okay. one of those together. Okay. Because, but now, I just need to ask a question. How, yep. You're going by your key at this point, so you know that you had... This yes. one that you know which which order because if you've made yeah. loads of these, they're all going to be upside down, the wrong way around. That's right, which like is that. why so I suggest laying them out because yes. we'll take that that apart again. Yeah, you can see that that's going to form the next that's, ring. So yes, yeah, so that's your big that's your big circle here, and that and one's your big circle one. that interlinks it. So you would it. join it, and then your like dark that. blue circle would go up like that's that. Right. So you just keep well, let's let's carry on with it. Let's carry on with it. Okay. But you just literally just keep linking them. Just keep linking them together, and you can sew them together in in rows. Um, and then add your tops and yes. bottoms on. Because in effect, you're making a circle here, aren't you? If yes. you were just to make that, that and that. But that would be sort of makes it life more difficult for you, I'd imagine. Whereas if you sew that one together, then you put another one of those there, you're making a row of them. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you just Does make it not a matter? circle. Okay. No, because shall I show you yes. the one I've already made? So this is the one I've made, again, to show. That's a completed... Can I take it to the quilt and just You can take it? it wherever you like. So that will be one of those. This could be very dramatic, the blue. It is. It's they, even though they're soft blues, it's lovely. It's quite dramatic, isn't it? It is, and yes. And when you look at the bundle, you think, oh, there's not that much difference between these blues. But actually, when can we just say, see that from can we see that from the upstairs camera? Oh, now Hannah loves is a table runner. You were saying if you just finish this off, oh, it's the wrong way. Sorry. If you just finish this off, then um, you could make it into a. a, a place I, I mat. thought a placemat or a table centre. All you've got to do is is back it oh, and, cushion, and behind it cushion. cushion. Yeah. So don't just think you've got to make a wedding ring quilt with the wedding ring templates. It's, right. a, it's a really neat technique. And if you carried on like like this, you could have a table runner. Yep. Now, um, Hannah's asked a question now. She's, you've got her mind going. Hannah starts all these projects and they all just don't get finished. <laughs> so she said if she sewed all her big circles together here, then the edge, obviously your end circle here, is going to be like a curvy scallop. You then, you've then created shapes to go down the side. No. Could you... No. Oh, oh well, well, you can show us how you do the yep. side. But she said, could you, before you go on to that, could that be the edge of your quilt? Could you bind absolutely, that? Absolutely, you could, absolutely. No reason why not. So there you go, Hannah. But, but now, your binding would have to be bias binding. It would have it? to be bias on, binding. Because all quilters really do straight binding, don't they? Mostly, because, because you're mostly straight, doing straight, a straight, 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 yes. straight. So you'd have to, if you wanted that, and also you'd have to be aware that you could only use up quarter of your inch around there, because otherwise yes. all the circles would be too thin, wouldn't they? Yeah. But Hannah, that'd be lovely if the outside yeah. was that was that shape. That would be beautiful. And I'd a, lot want of, to yeah. a lot of people do make them like that. Oh, do they? And, and do again, they? I think probably traditionally that was the way they, they were done. OK, um, so now t talk to me about the... So I'll go, are you I'll ready go to talk about this then, bit yeah, here? Because so right? I'm not... just worried about time. That's so if all. we assume that, that that's all sewn together, yeah. that's how we're going yeah. in rows and so on. For the, for the backing, um, what we've got here... I'll show you, uh, I've done a quick um, print oh. out from the pattern. So that's actually the outside edge of 
the whole thing. Right. Because we're going to applique oh. that onto the frame. It's actually hand turned. So that's hand turned yes. around there. You couldn't have seen it. Yes. Oh, so in effect, you've made the quilt that Hannah was just saying. Exactly. You and have, because a lot of the time, what you do is you make kind of squares, don't you? Then fit into yes. there. So this is appliqued all the way around the edge there. So you make, did you, so you would make, you the, would whole make the whole big border center. first. Yes. So there's nothing behind. No. Oh, okay. And it's made out of. If you look at, go to the sketch. Yeah. There are four six and a half inch squares. Is that in this in the instructions? In the instructions oh, yes. fantastic! Yes, I've just printed this out from yeah. the instructions. Yeah. And then you've got um, four, no, not four, fourteen of the okay. rectangles, and you join them together. Oh, let them just have one here, May. So, I made a park one. Yeah. Uh, watching so much great demo, Sally. Uh, and watch the great demo. I just pinned my top that I'm making to the tablecloth from Marie in Cornwall. She's so busy watching you. She's... Anyway. <laughs> so that. There you go. Oh, uh, is... okay. Yeah, oh, and so you lit it's literally only appliqued. That's right. A little bit. Oh, look, I tell you what, yes. you carry on holding your corner a minute. So this is then appliqued to there, like that, hand turned it. it. That's it. So you that's can hand turn it or machine stitch yes. it. Yeah. Oh, how? I've never seen that before. And I would recommend, probably, because you need to turn a quarter inch hem. Yes. I would recommend gluing that. Oh, down. Yeah. Um, so why don't you do just put it on? Is it would be a waste of fabric just to get a piece that big and put the whole you of it? You could do it, but yes, you wouldn't, you wouldn't see the No, fabric. no, you wouldn't see it. I was just thinking about stability, but then that's, this is one layer of fabric and that's one layer of fabric, so it's they're the same like size. It's just like making any quilt top. And then, once you've done that, you then sandwich it with your batting. Yes, I would trim away, trim away behind there. Oh, so would you use your duck build scissors to trim, yes, trim the away? Yes, yes. You don't oh. have to, but yeah, it yeah. just means then you wouldn't end up with any oh, no, and ridge also, lines. Yeah, I was going to say, you could end up with a, a line yeah, there, yeah. especially if, you diff if this was a different colour. So you'd cut away the, the excess of this from underneath that, yes. and then you'd make a quilt sandwich. That's right. And also, if you, if you look, when you're coming to applique this on, yeah. The seam lines, this is why there are 14 separate pieces oh, rather than a big long big strip, strip, because then you use these seam lines to match up with to that match corner. Up with your oh, so points. it's an, an added sort of safety measure yes, as well. Yes, so it's, uh, and that's down to Sally Ablett's design. She's thought that through. So. That is brilliant, because I've not seen that, be not seen that before, because I really thought it was going to be, you were going to say, oh, now you take this ruler, I mean, obviously you don't, but, and you have to cut out so many of these on an act, but no. No. No, no. That's brilliant. This is designed for speed yes. um, and accuracy. Of course. And, and having made this centre part here, you don't want to sort of make a, a bit of a modge of the rest no, of it. No, 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 exactly. I'm just wondering what it would look like. Because I'm, I'm, when we do a trip around the world and Bargello, I'm always the one that likes the dark, like the navy blue or the dark grey background. Hannah upstairs likes the pale grey or the cream or the white. That would be very dramatic. The other way other around, way around. You know, with a very dark background, yes. and then your coloured circles. Yes, that is yes. absolutely brilliant. So it's really clever. Is there one final, I've only got 30 seconds left, is there one final tip you want to say about making this? I would say make all your, your melons first and lay them all out on the floor or on a table so yeah. you've got it all right. Possibly label them up. Yeah. And then just sit and enjoy and, and And also, just when it's laid out, make sure that your circles are the... If you want them all to be the, the exact... Yes. Because that's the whole point of it, isn't it? It's, it's the uh, infinity, forever, it ring is. sort of thing. It so is. You've got to make sure that really they all match, but then with the little uh, coloured junctions in between. But that's not difficult. You could mark them up. That's yeah. number one, that's two. So you, you'll see here as well, this one is the opposite this of that, that one. one. Oh, goes back yes. again, goes back in, and the same across. Crossway. So really, even though it just looks like a, when you it first does. look at it, it looks, oh, I'll never be able to do that. It's actually got a uniformity it about has. it, hasn't it? It has, yes. Brilliant. Now you're back in an hour. Not that yeah. you're getting away with doing one project day. Eh? <laughs> with that lovely cushion. Now the cushion is your design, not Sally anybody else's. It's no, no. your design. And it's foundation paper piece, it isn't is, it? It is, yes, for the terrified. 
Foundation, and also, Shmoy, I've got a friend called Shmoya Mera, who's so when she was at school 40 years ago, started watching me on here and said, oh, she bought a toy, threw it away. We did a foundation paper piecing of the uh, balloons in baskets and everything. She was able to do it like that, yeah. and she just loves now. Yeah. That's her new, yes. her new thing. She loves it. Thank you so much. You did brilliantly, brilliantly, brilliantly. <laughs> you were fantastic. Um, but I'll see you in an hour see you with, with your lovely cushion, and I'll take the ruler with me, and I'll go and do the bundles. I'll see you later. Bye. Right. There we go, then. Oh, didn't she do well? I you see, I'd be a mess. The first one I did, I'd be an absolute mess. She was absolutely brilliant, wasn't she? They've just said the first one. Like, I'm still a mess. Right, OK, Hannah, don't you worry. How are you getting home? There's no buses today, I don't think. Anyway, should we do this, the ruler? Here we go, lots of you buying this ruler. £37.49, pence, very strange price. No P&P &P today, though. No P&P, &P, but there's four sections to the ruler. And as we said, on the back there, it shows you how you can use all, all, all of the, the, the pieces for different shapes and different patterns and everything. Creative Grid, Rachel Arula is absolutely brilliant. It's got the, um, the resin on it and everything like that, so it's really, really good for not moving when using it. And what were you saying, Han? Oh, we got lots in, especially for today. So you'll be all right at the moment, but of course the repeats haven't started yet. See, I think a lot of people today will watch once the wedding's over, won't they, sort of thing, and the repeat. Oh, no, not the football, not the football. You'll start watching us when the football's on. Anyway, I've got two bundles. The pinky one, which is the one on the wall, is this one here. So you get the pattern, you get the thread, you get three and a half metres of antique white, and then half a metre of each of these bijou. Oh, you can see in there, half a metre of each of those bijou. Half the stock is gone. Half, over half the stock is gone. And you get your thread on that one as well. Oh, I've mixed the thread up. So once you get white, one you get cream, but never mind. Could be that way around. And then the other bundle, that, that's the bijou one. They've called that bijou. Then the blue one, which is the one you just saw Sally making, is this one here. Optical white, three and a half metres, then half a metre of each of the bijou fabrics, plus your thread, plus your instructions, £59.99. Gorgeous, isn't it? Now, a lot of those have gone, haven't they, Hannah? <laughs> yes. Well over half have been checked out. Well over half have been, have been checked out. £59.99. Right, don't go anywhere because what have I got next? Uh, I've got, oh, got two lovely machines with bundles. Oh, one of the bundles on the website. They've stolen my thunder there. And uh, I've got, oh, fabric, very, now I've got an unusual mix of fabrics coming up. Uh, if you like soft toy making, or if you like a bit, a little bit of sparkle, or of something else. Oh, and the heart as well. Anyway, come back in three minutes. You'll see what I'm waffling on about. See you then. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. So I'm going to be showing you how to do a ladder stitch. Now this is a great stitch when you want to sew something up and create an invisible stitch. But first of all, I'm just going to use the example of something like a pincushion, but I need to bring these two edges together using the invisible stitch, which is known as the ladder stitch. So first of all, I'm going to take my needle up through the fold. So I'm going to be concealing the knot in the thread. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle in through the fold of the fabric and come out. So you can see that I'm on the actual fold there. So obviously there's the, the raw edges are inside my pincushion. I'm gonna take that through. Now I'm gonna to go to the opposite side and repeat that stitch. So I wanna make sure that this is parallel. So I'm gonna come in through that fold and come out. So again, I'm making these stitches really big so you can see what I'm doing. So you can see how I'm going across the whole of the fabric. If I just keep doing a few stitches. So as you can see, we have the ladder stitch there going across the two pieces of fabric. So when I pull my thread, you can see that almost makes those stitches invisible. Join us on Monday the 21st of May when dressmaking expert Amanda Wyatt shows us how to make an on-trend cold shoulder top. 
Just in time for sunny skies, this pretty top is a breeze to make. To emphasize the feminine flared sleeves, we've selected silky satin fabrics featuring springtime blossoms, including magnolia flowers, daffodils, and lilies. Amanda takes us step-by-step step through the process, sharing her professional tips to ensure every detail is sewn to perfection. So tune in for an hour of springtime dressmaking, Monday the 21st of May at 9am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 687. Join us on Thursday the 24th of May for the return of an applique sensation, Angie Atwood's stained glass wall hanging. Angie will be showing us how to make her elegant Art Nouveau rose window, the intricately curved outlines cleverly created using strips of bias tape. We know how much you loved this design last time it came to air, so have put together a choice of three beautiful kits for your window. Choose from vibrant shades of red, purple and blue to create your own gorgeous stained glass effect. So tune in as Angie takes us through the patchwork window, Thursday the 24th of May at 10 a.m., only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 687. Simply Sewing is a magazine for dressmakers and home sewists who are passionate about fabrics and love to sew with stylish patterns. Each issue is packed with technical know-how, templates and easy to follow instructions to sew yourself quick wardrobe updates, accessories, plushy toys, gifts, bags and more. Plus, each issue comes with a free dress pattern from our expanding trend-led collection. We're proudly flying the flag for contemporary sewing with stylish patterns and beautiful photography to inspire sewists across the globe at every level. Don't forget, it's free PMP right the way through until midnight on Sunday night. So anything you buy, anything you buy is free PMP right the way through till midnight on Sunday night. Oh, I seem to have lost everyone. Right, uh, machines, machines, machines. We love machines. This is the one that all of our designers love. This is the one that um, Joe has bought. This is the one that uh, Lucy has got. This is the one that I made my twirls with, and I just love it. It is... The Elna 680. Now, before I start talking about, you about the machine, let me tell you, because we've done a bundle. You might have seen it on the front of the website. This machine always costs £999. No matter when you buy it, it costs £999. We do different bundles to go with it. This is a fantastic bundle, because if you buy this machine today, or until stocks last, um, you'll still pay £999 for it. Yeah, yeah, I've just got some fluff in my mouth from the, um, from the Bijou Fabrics. Right. Um, you'll still pay £999 for it, but today, I like to call it a free gift. They call it a saving. But if you buy this today, you will also get these three uh, fabulous gifts to go with it. So you'll get this um, winter threads. They're, now, it's a silk finish. They're not silk. They're cotton, but they're triangular, which gives it that silk. It doesn't affect your stitching. It's so micro... What's that word called? Small. That um, you can't see it. Micro small. <laughs> you, so you get those, the winter threads. You get this lovely little ruler from Creative Grids. It's three and a half inches by three and a half inches. And you also... Get this. Now, it's a bit like the quilt bundle we just had then, wasn't it? You get three metres of bijou fabrics in the different blues. You've got um, arrow dusty sky. You've got clover deep teal. You've got petal, oh, Carolina. You've got pyrid, I can't even say it, pyramid Prussian, sol wintergreen, and dot, square dot celeste. Beautiful, aren't they? So you'll get... What's that worth, then? What's all that bundle worth? £50 and 92... Oh, there you go. I can show you that. Look. £50 and 92 pence. They call it a saving. I call it a free gift. Don't know what the difference is, because you're still paying your 999 But instead of getting £999 worth of value, you're getting 100 and whatever those two things added together are. Brilliant, isn't it? So that's your free gift to go with it. 
the machine. Now, I'll just go through what's up here first of all. You get the most fantastic instructions manual. It is so thorough. I'll show you more about that in a minute, because because if you want to do a, a particular stitch, I'll show, show you now. If you want to do a particular stitch, right? Go here. It tells you which foot you need, which what, what settings you need on your on your. Oh, there you go. Sorry. What settings you need on your on your um, machine? Everything. Oh, sorry. Everything like that. It's just brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, now I was going to go through the stitch options in a second because I just want to get. So because this kit also comes. With the extender table, you also that comes within the kit. That comes in the bundle for nine hundred and ninety-nine pounds. You also get this incredible cover, this really lovely sturdy cover, with the pocket, with the um, Velcro pocket or the one-touch fastening pocket on the front there. This all comes as part of the deal for the nine hundred and ninety-nine pounds. Then, oh, you get this. Which is, you, you, now you will get bobbins in yours. Let's see if there's the right amount in here. Oh, yes, right amount of bobbins in there. Oh, no, you get 10 bobbins, I think, don't you? There's only eight in there. So you get your bobbins and a lovely bobbin box. And you see these little, these special bobbins, got those blue, the blue on them there. That's, you can tuck your thread in. So you know on a bobbin, when you put it away and the thread normally comes out and everything like that, you can just tuck the thread behind that blue, it's like a rubber, and it just holds it in place. You also get this, which we were just talking about this. This is the knee lift. And what happens is, is that there's a, a hole on the front of the machine here. And you just push this end of that into there and it creates. So what it is, is, you know, when you're sewing and you have to lift your, oh, I've done it wrong. You have to lift your press foot, lift your press foot. With this, you lift it with your knee. So you don't need to let go of the piece of work. You can just push this to the right hand side. It lifts the press foot. You can move, pivot, drop it back down again and off you go. And you haven't let go of your, of your, your fabric at all or your, or your project at all. Um, I, as I said, uh, my Singer Industrial had one of these on. And when I first got to it, I was like, oh, I'll never use that, I'll never use that. It becomes, I, you can't use it standing up, obviously. You have to use it when you're sitting down. But it is brilliant. And somebody messaged in, well, Sally said she uses hers. And someone else messaged in earlier, didn't they, saying they used the, the knee lift an awful lot. Um, I'll talk about this as well. Walking foot. You know all of our um, quilting experts talk about the walking foot. That comes with this machine. Now, if you think about it, well, I've got one for sale later on for another sewing machine. You'll see they soon add up when you need to add up, uh, add up all these feet together. But I think I've got, if you look in here, uh, and I'm doing this back to front. So you see here, all the feet have got letters on them, right? So these are the homes for A, M, D, E and F. But uh, all, the f all the feet are described in, I'll go through the, the ma manual in a minute. This here... Elner exclusive. This is a little pivot pin that you put in, which means you can sew perfect circles. Right? Uh, then I've also got the gubbin box down here, or the sweetie box. Oh, hang on. I'm working on everything back to front, sorry. It's really called the, uh, oh. Bed, well, different people call it different things, don't they? Bed. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't do it this way. I'll get it out for you in a second. But while we're at the front of the machine, let me just show you what else is here. So we've got the, uh, well, you've seen our, our experts do this. This is the uh, button that you press to cut your thread, right? Now, don't worry, you know sometimes when you cut your thread with scissors and then you go to sew the next bit of stitching and the, the thread drops that back down into the bobbin. Even though this cuts it off really, really short, it doesn't go back into the bobbin the next time. It's just fantastic. So that's your, you just press that and that just cuts your thread. Uh, this here is for your faster, slower, like I was just showing to Sally. So if you want to go really slow, you move it, the dial or the, the lever towards the um, tortoise. If you want to go nice and fast, you move it towards the rabbit or the hare. Then carrying on down here, this is your needle up or needle down. Whichever one you choose, at the end of each row of stitches, it'll either... So if you're doing a project where you don't want the needle to come out at all, and you're going to move and pivot and things, you set it to needle down. Or if you're just doing normal stitching, you want it to finish with the needle always up. That's what that button is for there. Uh, the next one is like your locking stitch. So you just press that and it goes... Like that, and it just kind of does your locking stitch. Good, duh, good, duh, good, duh, good, junk. This one here is your reverse. Oh, where am I going? This one here is your reverse button. And then this one here is if you don't want to sew using the presser foot, uh, the, the foot pedal, you can sew just by pressing that button. 
Yeah, what you have to do is it won't work unless you unplug your, your foot pedal. So if you don't want to, um, if you just don't want to use the pedal at all, or you've, like, like so, when, so when Sally, I, I'm not making a joke of her, of her um, accident, but when she first had her accident, she, if her right knee was, was damaged, she wouldn't be able to use it. You could still do your sewing because you could just press your stop, start, stop, start, the same as you do when you, um, and do you use it in free motion embroidery? Oh, okay. Hannah used it in when she did her free motion embroidery as well. Um, I don't know about free motion embroidery enough, so, but, but obviously you can do that. Uh, now, you've also got a needle threader, automatic needle threader on here. Now, you have two of these, right? The one that's already on and this one. The, the, the machine is so clever. It, oh, it's upside down, isn't it? Sorry. The machine is so clever, it knows which one is on. This one here is for uh, straight stitch only. And then the other one's got a wider hole in there. At night, so for free motion embroidery, you change it, don't you? Because you take, put the feed dogs down and you just want to do the, your straight stitch and everything. Um, it's, it's if you're just doing straight stitches all the time, lots and lots of, like if you're doing quilting, you only want, and it doesn't, if you've got a wider hole on there, sometimes it'll pull, especially on dressmaking, it'll pull your fabric through. This way, it doesn't pull your fabric through because it only allows the needle to go through itself. The front bobbin here, it's got a top loading bobbin. I don't know if you can see that here. It's got a top loading bobbin in here, but it's got a see through, and I'll tilt it up towards you. There you go, there you go, there you go. So it's got the see through case for you to put your bobbin in. And you can also see when it's getting um, a bit low, because with my old Benina, you, you put it in on, like, like one of our, um, is it the 240? The 240 of ours, uh, you load from underneath there. You don't know when the bobbin's going to run out. Whereas this way, you can keep an eye on the bobbin. Uh, we need to talk about stitches. Look at these. Right now, it's got a seven millimeter stitch width. No, not, no, nine millimeter stitch width. A normal sewing machine is seven millimeters. That's right, isn't it? Or is that the right way around? It's two millimeters wider anyway than, all, than normal sewing machines. Um, and, and you'll see a lot of difference when you come to do lettering and alphabet because it really makes a big difference. Yeah, nine, nine millimeter, yeah, nine millimeter. Um, but look at all those stitches. There are, what is it? This, um, 170 built-in stitch, stitches. Right, uh, before I get to the buttonholes, I'm just trying to find my glasses because, oh, hang on, let, let's go through that bit again. So this bit here in mode one, these are your, your straightforward stitches if you need to move the needle and everything like that. You've got your stretch stitches, your feather stitches, and then you get to your buttonholes here. Now the buttonhole foot comes with it. Oh, right, where's the buttonhole? I haven't got the buttonhole foot here. The buttonhole foot is fantastic. What you do is you put the button inside. Oh, there you go, have a look at that. Right, the buttonhole uh, thing is down at the bottom on the left-hand side. You put your button in and then uh, put the ga gauge up and then the machine does the, there's none of this. With mine, you do one side, you stop, you do across the top, stop, go down the other side, stop, do across the bottom, stop. This one, it does it automatically, and there are 10 different buttonholes. Look at all those different feet. Look at the bobbins. Um, you've even got um, a free motion quilting there. You've got a quick and pick. You've got your screwdriver. You've got your little lint brush. You've got your walking foot. Your walking foot even comes, foot, foot even comes with a guide on it, so if you're doing echo stitching, you can do that. Uh, it's just everything. You just get so much with this for £999. And, I mean, I can keep talking about it till the cows come home, but when I use this to make all my twirls for the show I did, um, it almost made them for me. It was such an easy machine to use. It's just... It looks... Um, not complicated because it's all digitized or digital and everything like that. You think, oh no, but it's absolutely fantastic. There's even a little button. If you get so confused, you, you just press the C button there and it just clears everything and takes you back to default. It's just, there are so, there's a lock on it here. If you don't, if you don't want, um, if you've got to leave it and you've got children or pets or anything around, you just switch the lock on and it won't do anything at all. It won't let you do anything at all. Twin needling, everything you want to do, you can do it there. Now, also, it's free PP till sun Sunday um, night, midnight Sunday. Now, what happens is all the machines come directly from Elna. So what will happen is if you do buy this today, this will be delivered to you from Elna, and this bundle of joy will come from us. They won't come together, because obviously they come straight from Elna. Oh, and you've got an Elna guarantee. 
get an Elna guarantee, and that Elna have a, a, a phone line that you can ring. With, uh, like a, they're just brilliant. And every time I've rung them on behalf of um, viewers and everything, they've just been so fantastic. Here again, here are all, everything you get with this machine, all the different feet. Very clear, concise instructions. And as I say, as you go through, anything you want to do, it tells you exactly how, where you set it, what you set, which foot you need. Very, very, very thorough. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant machine to use as well at £999. Is there anything else I need to cover? £999. Now, it'll always cost you 999 but today we're giving away £50 and 92 pence worth of gifts. That... Oh, oh, oh. You see, the thing is, they showed this bundle on the website earlier. I've only got a certain amount. They gave me more than they normally would in a bundle like this, but there are fewer than 10 now. There are fewer than 10 of this, this bundle. Not, we'll always have this machine, but this bundle that we're offering you today... Oh, there's another foot there. You can see that foot there. Um, this bundle that we're offering you today, there are fewer than 10 of those. Right, just so you're aware, right, let me put that over there, because I'm going to go over to the little table now, and we could talk, um, well, all sorts of things, all sorts of things over here. And no, it's over there. I'll do it, it's fine, it's quicker, it's quicker, it's quicker. Right, what, am I starting with that then? When, when Joe Carter did the seahorse show, if you see here, the coxcomb and the ears and the fin at the back are all... Oh, and the belly. Well, I was holding that bit, was I couldn't see I was doing this. They're all made of this gorgeous emperor fabric. Loads of you, loads of you, loads of emailed in. Oh, look. Loads and loads and loads of you emailed in saying, can we buy the fabric on your own? And he's like, no, can't, can't, can't. Well, guess what? We've got the fabric. We've got the fabric in for you. Oh, apparently there's not much. Not for the demand, anyway. Ooh, now, how's this going to sheeny show? Right, half a metre of Emperor foil fabric. It's wipe clean only. Can you iron it? Oh, OK. Well, I, I, it's 100% viscose, so you should be able to, but I'll double check that for you. Uh, did Joan not iron it when she made... Oh, do you know what? The creases just come out when you move it anyway. So what I would do, when you get yours home, this one's been folded like this in the warehouse, but what you need to do is just hang it, and a lot of those will come out. At 2 dollars half a metre. This is half a metre I've got here. It's wide, isn't it? It's like 135 centimetres wide. And it's the silver. The thing is, that the projects that you're going to be used for this out of, you're not going to make... I can't imagine you'd use... Well, you might make a cloak out of it, I suppose, but um, I imagine they'd be small projects, so the creases will come out as you're making those anyway. Uh, what kind of costume would you use? I thought? Superhero costume. Wise men! None of the wise men didn't bring silver. They brought gold, frankincense and myrrh. Yeah. Yeah, but you wouldn't make the whole costume out of it. Yeah, just trim it with it or something like that. Or make the wings. Make, oh, Christmas stars, that'd, that'd be nice, wouldn't they? You could applique it. It'd be gorgeous applique, wouldn't it? 2 99 for half a metre, 100% viscose. Now, this side feels plasticised, and this side is obviously... Well, it, yes, it feels like... What's that fabric you put inside through in trunk um, bags to stop the... You, Foil-coated knitted backing, that's what it is. So, um, OK, so the manufacturers don't put... They, all they put is white clean only, they don't put anything to do with ironing. So maybe you test out the corner before, between, under, uh, between pressing cloths and just test it. It's kind of... Now, I, I'm just trying to think back, because I've just put my hand behind it there and I suddenly thought, oh, I've worn this fabric before. I know, when I was at Bretton Hall College and I played Oberon in Midsummer Night's Dream, I had a cat suit made out of this. I'll find you a picture. I'll find you a picture, because I also had a glitter wig on. Yes, it was very... It was an interesting take. 
but yes. I'll find it. I'll find it. It's like a flat lame. It's like a flat lame, but it's made of viscose and a foil rather than... You can make Joe's robot out of it. He is. I've seen him this morning. Oh, has he been put on the other shelves? Oh, okay. Yeah. Look at that. Use it for the unicorn, the horn and the hoofs of the unicorn. Lots you could use it for, really, isn't it? Anyway, we're getting carried away now. Let's go on to the gold. I don't think you'd want to make Kylie's hot pants out of this. I know. Oh, do you know, it's got a bit of a stretch to it. Maybe you'll be all right. I just wouldn't wear them for too long. Look, nice big stretch on there. Emperor foil fabric in the gold. Well, all, you could use all this for all sorts of things. Christmas decorations. And I don't want, I, may, I know it's only May, but, you know, it's, ju it's just fantastic. I bet it's easy to sew. Did you do the um, seahorse show? I bet you any money it's really, really easy to work with. It's lovely, though. God. Roman day at school and a Soviet costume. What, a toga? Oh, OK. So Ian, our buyer, took, took some, uh, some fabric home for his son's uh, school day where it had to be a Roman for the day. They'd be a very rich Roman if they're... Um, it's just like liquid gold, isn't it? Beautiful, 2 99 for half a metre. It's like waves, isn't it? Soft waves of gold going across your screen. Relax. Take deep breaths. At £2.99. It's lovely. It's got a lovely feel to it as well. Right, the gold. Is the gold more popular than the silver? OK, there was less of the gold to start with than there was silver. But the gold, oh, they're both, amount, they're both amounts of sold, but because we didn't have as much gold as we did silver, so the gold is running short. I'll come back to that, don't worry, I'll come back to that. What's that got to do with wedding? Royal golds, crowns. Oh, do you know what? You could use that backed onto felt to make, or, or to um, a spongy uh, wadding, to, you know, to make um, crowns and things like that, couldn't you? Posh crowns. Yeah, wise men crowns, yeah. Next. Do Bunting. Flying out already. You don't know how you've bought it already. It must have been on the website, maybe. I don't know. Union Jack bunting panel. Right, this is how it comes. It doesn't come already made. Now, I know they're all weddings today, and you're not going to make time for that, but fantastic for Wimbledon parties. Hannah's got um, this bunting outside the house. Um, a fates, village fates. Right, so you get the, the, the whole panel for six pounds and 99 pence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can either make 16 uh, pennants and, uh, or you can make eight, so you can make, if you get another fabric, so say you bought marine blue or the bright red and the Macau sun, you can make 16 uh, pennants, or if you want them double sided, you can make eight from this panel. Nice, isn't it? Very patriotic. I like the one with flowers in. I'm just going to put it down. That one's got that. Oh, they've all got flowers in. Oh, no, not all of them. I like them where they've used different fabrics in the, in the, um, in the, in the, in the flag. Yes, I'm doing... Um, well, yes, I was supposed to be going to Spain, wasn't I, for the, week, the first week in July. But I've had to rethink it now because I'm doing the Long Compton Dog Show on the Saturday and then Miss Birmingham on the Sunday. So I might not be able to go. After, I might have to just go for a few days during the week. Anyway, but this would be ideal, wouldn't it? I should make some and take it for, for Lucy, the lady who organised it. Be nice. Six ninety nine for the panel. Oh, yes, look. How funny it's actually the one there. They don't, these don't, they don't feel like real tellies. My telly doesn't feel like that at home. Right, now this, Mandy Shaw's heart, 
Uh, it's a collectible. You know all her hanging hearts are collectible anyway. This is one she designed for today, for the wedding. Oh, I wonder how they are. Do you think she's got her frock on yet? No, not yet. Well, no, if she's got to be there for 12. Yeah, where's she getting ready? She'll be getting ready at Prince Charles's house, I imagine, if he's coming in the... Tr not the trolley. They don't arrive in trolley. <laughs> They don't arrive in jolly. So what, what are those things that the horses pull? Carriage. They're all carriages. The wedding design. The wes wedding designer. Now, I wonder which designer she's gone with in the end, because they said there were five in the running, didn't they? They do say she's going to have peonies in her bouquet. Yeah. So, so anyway, this is a red work. Mandy Shaw's red work. That's her. That's him. That's when. That's who they are. And they have flowers with peonies in. Yeah, what you'd have to be careful of is you could change it to friends of yours, but on, when you do the uh, transfer, just miss off the Harry and Meghan bit there. Unless, of course, they're called Harry and Meghan. Uh, so, so now you get everything you need in the kit apart from the... Oh, the, the, uh, the, press, the iron-on uh, templates. Uh, they're called transfers. The iron-on transfers aren't on that picture, but you do get them. You can use them up to six times, and you do not get the stuffing. You have to supply your own stuffing. Brilliant if you collect them, because we've got Christmas ones, we've got Easter ones, we've got birthday ones, we've got love ones, we've got... You know what I mean? She's just quite a few, and they're all collectible, aren't they? £17. And uh, 99 pence. Hannah's bought Han um, Harry and Meghan mugs for her kitchen. We... Um, Oh no, oh no, on EastEnders, they broke half, half, what, what's his name? Half Pint or Half Wit or whatever he's called. He broke the Princess Diana one, didn't he? In Linda's kitchen. Um, we passed an advert this morning, driving in, Hannah and I. You know, the big billboards that light up now, they're like digital, they don't have to stick them up with glue or anything. And it said, teeth sparkle like Meghan Markle or something like that. And I was like, surely they can't, you know how celebrities get paid. You know, like Nicole's, what's it, from X Factor, seems to be on every health, you know, pill on the back of every bus at the moment, doesn't she? She must get paid a fortune for that. And like, oh, like Philip Schofield with the webuyanycar.com, right? Meghan Markle won't have been paid. Like, your teeth will sparkle like Meghan Markle's. 17, well, Hannah missed it. And then I suddenly thought, oh, did I just not see that? Do I imagine that on the driving in? Anyway, seventeen ninety nine. that lovely little love heart there. OK. Got to go back now and do the other machine. Now, this is the machine that Hannah's got. Is it not, Hannah? Now, I'll talk to you through the... Bu uh, she didn't get the bundle with hers, though. So I'll show you what you, your free gift with this one. So this is the Elna 540. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely machine. All in all... Well, Hannah paid 449 for hers, right? £449. But if she'd bought it today, she'd get this lovely fat quarter uh, bundle worth 39 pounds and 99 pence. So you will still pay your 449, but saving or free gift, you think of it whichever way you want to, 39.99. You'll get this colorway. It's not one of those where, oh, you might get any color. It's called water. It's called water. Let me open up. Right, Hannah loves this machine. Let me go through again um, the things that I've got on the front here. I'll just put that there. You get the hard case with this one. So fantastic if you're going for classes because you just pop it over the top like that and then the handle from the machine comes there. Oh, OK. Oh, now, the bitterness is coming out now. She said, it's also good, uh, says Hannah, if you've got a flatmate who likes piling things on top of your sewing machine when she shouldn't. Right? Again, look at, look at the, there's no difference in the, the quality and the size of the instructions manual. A guarantee from Elna, the phone number to ring at Elna if you need to uh, ring. All the techniques you need, all, all the stitches you're going to use, all the foot feet you're going to use and things like that. This one too is um, digital, isn't it? It's got a digital um, settings and everything like that. So let's have a look. In this. You get this box, right? Mm, she knows. You get this box with it. And in it... Oh, now, you'll have to double check this. So you get the quick unpick, you get the screwdriver, you get the um, extra spool, you get the bits that you put at the end of your thread. I'm not quite sure what Jane calls those. You get your bobbins. 
You get your other screwdriver that gets you into niftier places. You get your little lint brush. Then, shall I check in the book what you definitely get? Okay, hang on then, I'll tell you here what everything you get. <laughs> oh, there they are. Right, okay, so here we go. So you get, uh, obviously, the foot pedal, the instructions manual. Um, right, uh, yeah, okay, hang on, I'm just looking for where it says the feet. Right, you get a zipper foot. You get a satin stitch foot. You get an overlocking foot. And you get, yeah, and then you've got your, your regular foot on there. What's that one there then? Oh, hang on, I think you might, we might have doubled up on this one, but it doesn't matter. Uh, you get your needles, your seam ripper, your spool pin, your spool holder, and... Uh, oh, right, then this here obviously comes off. Now, they call it extension table. They call that the extension table. But the extension table, as we know, is the big one there. This is, now, this isn't a sweetie box, because this one just fits on and over. It doesn't have a... You could put sweeters in it, but you won't be able to get to them without taking it off. But it means you've got that free arm, which is excellent if you're doing sleeves or if you're doing uh, bottoms of trousers and things like that. You can just slide them over like that. Um, now, Hannah's can take me through all the other... <laughs> um, right, here we go. But again, 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 I, I, I haven't used this one as much, but you've got, your, um, you've got all your um, button, these stitches here. All your stitches on this one are actually listed here. So you get 50 different stitches on here. You have got the fast and slow um, control on there as well. This is a shortcut to your stitches. There's your buttonhole stitch, that's uh, number six. Uh, it is like speed dial, you can do speed dial. And then of course in there, all your kind of, um, when you thread it up and everything, it's all beautiful and clean. Right, okay, so what you get here on the buttons here, the top button is needle position up and down, whether you finish. There's no needle cut on this one. Uh, this one here is reverse. Oh, no. That one there is reverse, isn't it? Oh, lock stitch. That must be your lock stitch. And that's your reverse stitch there. Yes. Well, why? I don't know why they've done that. Because that, normally the lock stitch is like the, the bullseye, isn't it? Yeah. So that big one there is your reverse button there. I think it's just a real... This is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant machine. If you Also... It's half the price, isn't it? So, I mean, you, this is ideal for Hannah because, first of all, she didn't have the budget for this, which, not, you know, we not, don't all have the budget for it. But she said it's a, not a beginner's machine because you always need to buy a machine that you're going to grow into. Now, because I've been doing it for years and years, I would go for that one, which is why Lucy and Joe went for that one. Um, this one is perfect for Hannah because she's at the beginning of her sewing career. And it's the first digital machine she had. The, the machine she's got at home is an, uh, the old... About 30 years old. It was her mum's. It was her mum's machine. So th this was her. This was Hannah's first ever sewing machine. Uh, she absolutely loves it. She does quilting on it. She does kimono making on it. I can't say she does dressmaking on it yet. Okay. Now I've also got a buttonhole stitch in that box, but I think that's the buttonhole. Oh, you do. Didn't get. Didn't mention it, did it? Oh, you got Hannah. Oh yeah, number four. Yeah. Number four. You do get the buttonhole stitch as well. Yes, while well, I was showing you the handle earlier, you see the handle here? Um, you can use it just to lift the, the machine up and carry it around. But also, if you put the cover on... Yes. Um, you, don't want, you don't want your machine to be too heavy. She said this feels substantial without being too heavy. It's definitely not flimsy. But it's, it, she says it's, uh, when she goes to sewing classes, it's, it's not too heavy to catch. She takes hers on the bus. She needs to buy one of those bags with the, you know, the shopping trolleys with the spots on, doesn't she, to put it in, really? Oh, hang on, oh, hang on. Beverly's telling us. Uh, she's at the hotel. Oh, she's not one of the palaces. Travelling with her mother, but Prince Charles is... Oh, so she's going in the carriage with her mum, but then Prince Charles walks her down the aisle. Oh, that's nice. Where? Oh... Earlier, I said something, they went, oh, no, sorry. Up in the gallery, they said, oh, no, there's, so there's something wrong with our telly, right? Because I said, did you see that? And said, no, something wrong with our telly. It's because they're watching the wedding. 
Honestly, honestly, honestly. It's fine. I'll watch. Oh, I haven't even set my video. But it'll be on the news for another six months, won't it? Uh, oh, she's liking the clothes, Hannah is. And it doesn't matter there's a girl in a crazy dress. We'll just carry on with this sewing machine. So, Hannah, what would you say was, the, what, was what you love so much about this um, machine? She likes how easy it is to use, the fact that it does lots of stitches, some of which she hasn't even used yet, um, and the fact that she can do quilting on it, she can do dressmaking on it, she can do craft making on it, sturdy, and it's going to last, and she's going to grow into it. So it always costs you £449, which is what Hannah paid first. She did not get the um, freebies, which she's a little bit bitter about now. A gift of £39.99. Right. Well, so Beverly, keep me updated of where she is and what she looks like and everything. Let me just put that in there. I wonder which dress she went for, because somebody leaked a design this week, didn't they? Or last week. Yeah, so I wonder if there's been a rushing round. I, I know she had five designers lined up, so I wonder if they all had to make it. She's going to choose one this morning. Oh, yeah, if you're watching, if you're watching the repeat, you'll most probably know the answer to this. Well, you'll know the answer in about an hour and 20 minutes, because... She, one minute, 12 pounds. Is that when she comes out to get in the coach? Or, um, not the coach. She's not going to the wedding in the coach. <laughs> I was thinking of stagecoach, wasn't I? Carriage, right? Is she come out of the hotel at one minute to 12, or she's got to be at the church at one minute to 12? Oh, Hannah, you're rubbish. Oh, one minute to 12, you're the first time you see in the rest. So that would be her, her getting into the carriage, wouldn't it? Oh, unless, unless they do, it goes into the, into the, Forecourt, the first time we see her is way... Because Diana, you didn't see Diana's, did you? Until it came out and she was waving like that. You didn't see her... What did you see her getting in it? Yes, she did, because you saw the Emmanuels pushing her in like that, didn't you? Anyway. Oh, yes, now, I just said about this machine. Uh, this one comes with a walking foot. Hannah's bought her walking foot to go with this to do her quilting. Janome? Oh, now, hang on. We've got Elna and Janome. OK. Elna machine, I know Elna machine's made by Janome, but I thought that I had to say the same as that, but obviously not. Okay, it, they put it there so it doesn't confuse you that it fits on an Elna sewing machine. Duh. Yes, it confuses even more, because we wouldn't be set. Anyway, don't worry, 49.99. So you see what I mean about the, the 680, all those feet you get. If you've got to buy all those feet, this is 49.99. So if you imagine all the feet, so if you are getting the 680, all those feet all come in included. You do get five or six feet included in this one, but you don't get a walking foot included. £49.99. Yeah, Dermot, yeah. There's, there's Dermot and about four others doing BBC, and Philip Schofield, I think, is doing ITV. And I'll tell you who else was on doing is they, uh, that lovely... Uh, is he called Ore, who won um, the dancing show? Oh, he's lovely. And his wife's just had a baby, hasn't she? Anyway, he's, he's presenting on one of them as well. 49.99. Hannah just wants to cuddle Dermot. That's nice. He's married, Hannah. Happily. 49 pounds and then 10 pence for the walking foot. Right, I've got to get on with some fabric now. Look, it's 10.38 already. What, unless there's something else to do? What? Yes, that's what I just said, fabrics. Right, now I've got different kinds of fleeces in here. So I've got fluffy fleece to start with in. Super soft fleece in purple is this one. Now, this is where there's going to be a lot of dust. Oh, and Chris is going to have a lot of tidying up to do between these two shows, but here we go. So this is the purple. This is lovely. Now, I don't think I've got anything made out of the purple one, have I? Oh, there was a dinosaur. Uh, two different, the two different sides, you can use the fabric on either side. One's very, very fluffy and one's slightly smoother. Uh, purple super soft fleece. Oh yes, now, Natasha did this, didn't she, last week? She, she made a baby's quilt and backed the quilt in some um, fleece. I don't think she put any wadding in it though with the fleece, did she? But anyway, yes, you could put it on the back. You can make soft toys, you can make kiddies blankets, you can make kiddies wraps sort of thing. And uh, um, back a quilt in it if you've got two babies quilt in it. Oh, yeah. Before you use it, give it a good old shake out. And then after you've been saying, clean, you're supposed to clean your machine out after every use anyway. But um, look how wide it is. 
160 wide, that will be. Three pounds, so that's what you get for your three pound 49. Yeah, that's what I just said. I said 150, 60 inches, did I not? Yes, I think so. 100% polyester, it's lovely and soft. It's one of those fabrics you just want to go like, oh. Like that. Yes. Anyway, so that's the purple. Now, is this the same fabric, the black? Super soft fleece in the black. We should have done this hour last, really, shouldn't we? Because the whole place is going to be covered in fluff again. Look. So again, yes, there you go. You've got your um, fluffy side and your soft side. I don't, you're not going to see that, actually, on the telly, are you? <clears throat> £3.49 pence for half a metre, that one. No, I've got my water down. That'll be fine. Le multiple washes, it says. And it makes you want to cuddle it. That's what the manufacturers say. So that's the black. Then I've got... I've got brown next. Make a lovely bear out of this. Have we got a bear? No. Can, can you get brown? Bless you. It's making Hannah sneeze she's not even in the room. Um, could you make a pig out of it? They have brown pigs, don't they? Like the pot belly pigs that... Um, no, the one that George Clooney had was all black, blacky brown all over. Was his pet? Because they're very good, they're very hy uh, not hygienic, but can, you can house train them. And huge. In his house. But then, th just how sad I am, right? You know when you log into your, your um, email and it, or, or the web and it normally has news items, everything. <laughs> and um, the last one. <laughs> the one I got yesterday, the world's most expensive weddings. I was looking at yesterday. George Clooney's was in there. Oh, no. I don't know. I didn't really watch it. I just looked at the pictures. But Posh and Becks were number 15, I think. Anyway, Liz Hurley was in there as well. So 3.49 for the chocolate super fleece, super soft fleece. Um, I'm going to need a lint roller after this show, aren't I? Or some sellotape. OK, next. How big is the throat of the 540? Oh, Hannah, how big is the throat of the 540? Tape measure. Elaine, this is for, in that Lincolnshire. I'd say it was like your normal. Uh, from the way, uh, at six and a half inches. Well, six and a half inches to the needle. So that's the throat, isn't it? So, oh, sorry, can you not see that then? Can you see that there? Oh, hold on, if I hold that up. Oh. Yeah, it's John that says it's my tape measure, nobody nicks it. Six and a half inches across there. Okay. Next. There's fluff everywhere. What's next? What's next? The pale pink, the same as that, yeah? Yeah. Right, the pig is made out of this one. I have a look at the fabric and I'll go and get the pig. Oh, oh yes. I don't, why did you bring the, um, the whale? Oh, I forgot Shannon. I thought they weren't doing Shannon today. Anyway, so this is made, it's obviously made out of this. Cute as this Joe Carter pig. Hannah wants to make a, a pig dressed as a bride and groom for her friend. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? This is you and your boyfriend, fiance. Oh, I know who you're making it for. Yeah. Anyway, there's the pale pink. Soft on one side, more fluffy on the other. It's everywhere. It's uh, my hay fever. It's going to set my hay fever off. Good time, big time this. Right, next. 
Okay. <coughs> I tell you, I'm just going to have to do this because I've got fluff. Plush. Right, okay. Tell me the colours of the next ones then. Mint, pale and pink. Are they the plush? Okay. So I've got smooth in mint. Got it. Now, there's the seahorse made out of this mint. It's slightly different shade, doesn't it? But anyway, I might be the other side. Hang on. Oh, no. No, it's, you can only use one side of this. It's lovely, though, isn't it? 100% polyester. 147 centimetres wide. Machine washable, I take it. Oops. Not as fluffy as the first ones, no. More of a, uh, well, it's what it says, isn't it? Uh, um, silky uh, plush. Smooth plush, that one. 749 for half meter, that's what you'll get for your half meter. Nice. The pink, pale, pale pink, oh, it's the only pink one I've got you. This would be lovely on the backing of a quilt, wouldn't it, this one? Mind you, make sure you've washed it first to get rid of all the excess fluff. There's a whale made out of it. There you go. Plush, smooth fleece. 100% polyester. Sorry, I thought Mike would complain about a little bit of black fluff, so I had to get rid of it. Seven pounds and 49 pence. Gorgeous. And then I've got, how are we doing for time? All right. No, that's the only pink I've got. Okay. <laughs> There's me, she said, right, now your next one's light pink, John, light pink. I've not got a pink, yes you have, yes you have. Oh no, she said it's light blue. You see, she's, getting, she's obviously seen a guest arriving in pink, in pale pink, and she's getting muddled up. She's saying what she sees now. She thinks she's on catchphrase or whatever. What's that one? Say what you see, say what you see. Is that catchphrase? I don't watch it. It's that Stephen Munhoney does it now, doesn't he? Yeah. 7.49. This is the baby blue. It's not even light blue. It's baby blue. Looks a bit white on my telly, that one. But it's definitely like... a. A pale plush, those marks are just where it's been folded and the nap's just, um, yours will be fine. Lovely for the back of a quilt. This feels a bit like pané velvet, this. Right, I've got aqua, but it's in a different fabric now. I'm going to a different fabric now. These are now super soft. Oh, I've only got one. Yeah, two, 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 two. Aqua. Oh, oh these are not. Oh, I'd like, bar I'd like a beach robe made out of this. It's nice, isn't it, that one? 60 inches wide, 349 for half meter. It's 100% polyester, I'm presuming. Lovely colour, isn't it? Gorgeous colour. Turquoise, I'd call that. Ooh. At three pounds and 49 pence. Next one, white. Oh, it's, uh, yeah. Oh, you're giving me all sorts of wrong information this morning, Hannah McCabe. She's overexcited about the royal wedding. You shouldn't really have worked, should you? Has Carol Karen have the champagne out yet? Will there be champagne ready for you when you get home? Okay. Uh, 349, this is optical white. It's very, very white. The camera won't like this. Soft fleece fabric. Very fluffy. 
on one side and lovely smooth on the other. So you could use either side. You'll show me what? Yeah. So that's the white fluffy one, which we haven't got anything made out of. But I have got something made out of the next white one. Do you go in there next, yeah? This one's like an anti, this is like a fleece that, um, well, I'll show you. The polar bear's made out of this. This is more like a fleece that you'd use for a baby's blanket, this one. This one feels like it's woven. It's anti-pill, this one. Two nine nine Again, I'll be able to show it to you in a green in a minute because the white, the camera doesn't like bright white like that. Uh, that one is 150 centimetres, 60 inches wide, 299. That one's got a completely different feel to it, that one. Oops. That one feels more like a woven soft blanket. And then I've got one more to show you. In the lot, lots of you coming in for the white one. Lots of you coming in for the white one. Or maybe you can make a green polar bear. This is like anti-pill again. This is a huge piece that I've got here. Very good if you want to make the dinosaur, the dragon, or the frog. The frog, we didn't, we didn't make the frog out of it. We didn't make the frog out of it, but it's, um, it'd be good to make the frog out of, wouldn't it? Or a what's a green bear? Is there such a thing as a green bear? You can make the dragon out of it. You can make the unicorn out of it. Dinosaur. Chris is standing by ready with the... Um... No, I wouldn't use it as a footstool because it's not got enough founder, it's not got enough stability to it. You can make a lovely bean bag, but you don't want anything that's got stability in it. Two pounds and 99 pence for half a metre. 100% polyester. Nice, isn't it? But I like that green. I'm not sure what I'd make out of it. I'd kind of almost want to make um, a Peter Pan outfit. But it'd be nice. It's nice and... But it's anti-pill, so you're not going to get all of this all over you, are you? Which I love. Not. So that's the green. What do they call it? Oh, lime. Lime, they call it. Right, I'll just... Um, give you an update. Thank you. Units, so I've got less, fewer than 10 metres of each of these now. First one, silver, it's the first time we've offered it by the half metre. You saw it in Joe's... Right, the amount that we sold is exactly the same, it's only we started off with less of the gold than we did the silver. It's 2 99 for half metre, it's 100% viscose with a foil overlay. Uh, don't wash it, don't wash it, just... Um, Dab it down with a damp hanky. <laughs> that's, not what, that's not what I was trying to say. I don't know what I was trying to say. What did they all say on the adverts? Damp cloth. Yeah. 2 99 for half a metre. Flying out. Less than at 10 metres. Did you say 10 metres or less than 5 metres? Confused. Right, less than five metres now. Less than five metres this now. Fewer than five. I don't know. Less than five, fewer than five. Whatever the correct terminology is. And then last but not least... ..is the gold. Now, apparently Chris has bought some of this to make a little outfit. Oh, do you know when I've used it? I tell you, I know now, I know exactly when I've used it. Right, do you remember Elton John's 50th birthday party? I showed you the picture last week, and we did him in a huge uh, white and silver outfit with his big wig and everything like that. And his mum and dad went as the Queen and um, Prince Philip, and he had, and he went to the party in the back, he got an open top lorry, and he drove from Notting Hill all the way through, I mean Holland Park, not Notting Hill, Holland Park, right the way through to ha Hammersmith to the party in the back of this van. And there were two, we had to make two slave costumes. And we had two very, very butch bodybuilders in little kind of toga. It was like this. 
like that kind of thing with a little frilly skirt on around like that and lots of chains. So that's where I've seen this fabric before. Anyway, got the gold now. Bizarre time up. Why? Oh, I'm being told off now for saying that you can make a slave outfit. Well, it's not what you're making out of it. Yeah, we, no, we, um, you can't have hot pants because uh, mankini, because it's got the stretch to it. You're all right going around. It's good for going around curves, that belly. Well, Pauline has messaged in. Pauline says, hello, John, channel, hop channel hopping between you and the wedding. The Clooney's have just arrived at the church from Pauline. Oh, have they? What's she wearing? Because uh, her outfit at the... Um, at the um, Met Ball last week, I didn't, wasn't, I didn't know, trousers. But nice from the back. Well, no, 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 because she'd got a bodice on, and then from the back, it looked like she got a huge, it was brocade, it was fantastic, but at the front, it stopped there, and she had trousers at the front. Oh, they were chatting to the Beckhams, apparently. Now, who else was supposed to be there? Elton John, isn't he singing there? He's there already. James Corden's going. Not that Hannah's been watching it or anything. Funny mix of people, isn't it? Oh, James Blunt is there. James Blunt's there. Uh, weren't the Spice Girls supposed to be singing there at the party later? No, I'm not sure of that. Well, they might not all be at the wedding. They might just be the, the act coming in later, the turn coming in later. Anyway... Some very handsome men, Hannah says. Going, well, they'll all be his army mates. They'll all be looking lovely in there. Uh, now, oh, we haven't seen him yet, have we? There was a, the thing you say again, is he going to wear his uniform? Is he going to wear a suit? Of course he'll wear his uniform, I know. No, he doesn't have to, because it's not a state... It's not a state wedding. That's why people like... Um, he didn't have to invite Trump, but he did invite the Obamas there, because they're friends of his. So, so he invites them, but he doesn't have to. So, you know, like at royal weddings, you normally have, oh, and here's the king of Tonga, and here's the uh, queen of whatever. She, he doesn't have to do that, because it's not a state wedding. So he can just have who he wants there, really. Anyway, 2 99 this. Are, there, are Beatrice and Eugenie there? They will be, won't they? I wonder if what they're wearing. Oh, now Pip Middleton's there, and it said in the paper this week that she wasn't going. Oh, OK. That's yeah, funny that she knows this when she's stuck up in a little room with no windows upstairs. Yeah. Anyway, she's nice already got Karen messaging her. Am um, I going now? This is fl uh, flying out. OK, fewer than seven now. Fewer than seven of these now. This is the 680. It always costs you 9.99. Always, always, always costs you 9.99. Today, we've done a fabulous bundle for you. Uh, you'll still pay 999 but a free gift of the uh, three metres of the Bijou fabric in blue, the Creative Grid non-slip square, three and a half by three and a half, and the Metla Silk Finish Cotton 50 winter kit. All of that comes to a total of £50.92. Oh, and now there are people with it in their baskets as well. So please, please, please be careful, because obviously when we go on repeat, more people will come in, more people... Right, don't go anywhere. Sally's up next. I haven't got a cushion. Oh, it's over there, a cushion. Her very own design, foundation paper piecing. See you in three. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our sewing quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Hi, my name's Jo Carter and these are my top three tips. My first tip would be, even if you, your sewing room is normally a real mess, and mine always is, try and take the time to organise your fabric, your stash, into colour order, because being able to see it and have it there, meaning you can pick out the colours and have them to hand and try fabrics together, really does help when you're quilting and it means you use all of your fabric and things don't get lost and forgotten about. My second tip would be try and get to know your sewing machine. So spend an hour or an afternoon trying out buttonholes and various stitches and just get to know what it can do because then when you've tried them, you know you can bring things into projects and make life easier a lot of the time. And my third tip would be try and sew when there's somebody else around so that they can keep you supplied with fresh cups of tea so your sewing's not interrupted. <laughs>
Tune in on Tuesday the 22nd of May when Jennifer Taylor is here with a blooming gorgeous cushion design. These three-dimensional flowers are brought to life petal by petal using wool felt and simple techniques that Jennifer will be demonstrating. Choose from four gorgeous kits including shades of rose red, honeysuckle gold, mint green and sunshine ochre. You can even add a touch of sparkle to your blossom with pretty Swarovski crystals. So join us for Cushions with Serious Petal Power, Tuesday the 22nd of May at 8am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 687. Join us on Wednesday the 23rd of May for a stroll through the enchanted forest with quilting expert Victoria Peet. This quilt kit may have a prickly exterior, but inside you'll find the most gorgeous forest-inspired fabric featuring hedgehogs, rabbits, flowers and toadstools. Even more magical though is the clever technique used to create the adorable applique hedgehog. With instructions to make the quilt plus a cushion, a pair of happy hedgehogs could be taking up residence in your home very soon. So tune in for an hour with Victoria and her charming woodland friends Wednesday the 23rd of May at 9am only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 687. I am completely covered in fluff here, even though Chris came in with his lint roller and gave me a good old lint down, rolling down. Uh, then I helped him clear the table. And, oh, and it's everywhere again, so I do apologise. Isn't this lovely? Isn't this gorgeous? Now, remember, it's free PP all weekend up until midnight on Sunday. Now, this is Sally's very, very own design. She is a little concerned because it's called Dazzling Diamonds and there's not a diamond in it, right? But it's like, if you look at it from the top, then you know me, Hannah, little Paul, Hayley. Uh, well, no, we all worked in the same place. Uh, Ginger Mike worked in a different place. We've all worked with gemstones before. It's obviously the facets. Look at that there. It's obviously looking from the, the table through to the coulee, isn't it? Is it a princess cut? I'd say it was around brilliant. Well, no, that's why we've done it. Wedding, you know. Anyway, shall we get on? We've got three bundles to show you. Right, so we've got the um, diamond first, which is this one, which is this one. This is the diamond one. I'd be a bit annoyed if I just bought a posh diamond and it was grey like that. You don't want that. I could tell you where you could buy one like that if you want me to. Anyway, you get two metres of fabric. So you get half a metre. These are all linear prints. Half a metre, half a metre of the heron, half a metre. I only know one name. Uh, you get the instructions. And you get the thread. But let me point out these instructions. In the, look, there's the three finished ones. Diamond, amethyst, sapphire. But look, they are foundation paper piecing. Now, don't be frightened. I looked at it and went, oh my goodness, that looks so complicated. It's not at all. Sally's designed it, she's made it so that it's as simple as simple. And then there's the other section that you make to join to that first section. So that's all in the instructions there for £24.99. So that's diamond. Amethyst is next. Now, I think one's Rose de France, one's Zambian, one could be Uruguayan. Oh, I've got to think of another one. And it's February's birthday. But what's the other amethyst then? And I can't remember any of them. So when she walked, I've said Uruguayan. When she walked out the door, she just left all the information that she tried to learn while she was there. Anyway, 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 this one, look at that. You get, these are all spray time, aren't they? Splash time, spray time. Um, four different colours of the purple, plus the instructions, plus the thread. £24.99. and pence. We didn't do Moroccan, no, we didn't do Moroccan amethyst at ours. We had Zambian, Rose to France, Uruguayan, and there must have been another one, mustn't there? Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're not there anymore. A Russian amethyst. Don't remember that one. Anyway, let's move on to sapphires. Oh! Oh, no, they've called it topaz, Swiss blue topaz. I think it should be sapphire, because they engage... Oh, no, that's a different engagement. 
That was Princess Kate's engagement with Sapphire, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, no, Kate's got the original one, Diana's original one, hasn't she? Anyway, Topaz. Swiss, so we've got Swiss Blue, we've got London, Sky, Mystic, Topaz. Oh, how funny they've called it Topaz when I'd called it Sapphire myself. Anyway, not to worry. Who are we to go on about it? Two metres of fabric, thread and instructions. £24.99. There's the bundle. Oh, OK, the colours... Carol wants to know the colours in the diamond cushion. Right, this one's heron. I think that one's zinc. Heron, zinc, ebony... Cream... Oh, that's right, we always go on about... This one's called cream, Carol, this one. Heron, ebony and zinc. Diamond wedding anniversary, perfect, mate. Right, I need to get a stand for my instructions. Anyway, back now. How are you? Did you have a nice break? Yes, thank you very much. Good. Nice cup of tea. Oh, cup of tea. Right, OK. We have to concentrate on this one because it looks... Com I have to concentrate on this one because it looks complicated. But you said it's not. No, I've tried to make it um, simple so that um, a beginner could make it, but that it looks a bit more spectacular. Yes, yeah, well, it does look very... And also, can I just, just interrupt? If you look at this, right, you can see the, how it does look like a jewelled, a faceted jewel, doesn't it, there? So as if you were looking sort of into the facet of a... Yeah, oh, look at you showing off your posturing. What that, is it? It's a sapphire. Oh, blimey! She's got a sapphire, a big sapphire. It's a nice, gorgeous one as well, look. Sorry. <laughs> keep it moving, keep it moving. Oh, glitter, glitter. There you go, that's it. Oh, beautiful. Right, OK, let's move, let's move. That's because I spent eight years doing that, didn't I? Right, where do we start? OK, so I'll just talk you through... Yes. ..how the basics of it um, come together. So this, as you say, is the actual cushion pattern. But although it looks complex, there are only two sectors to it that are repeated four times. Oh. And each of those is divided into two. Right. So to, to, to make that more clear... Yes, clear I've just as mud, done, this one. I've just done a, a corner, which would oh, be Oh, I see, the two sections. Corner. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So you have one, which is that section there that I've completed. OK, then I'll come to you, don't we? There you go. So you're using the amethyst one for your demonstration, I am, yeah? yes. And this... Is the other? Oh, so they're slightly different then. They're only different in uh, in colour, and also when you put them together, this angle is different. Oh, uh, okay. So this part is identical. Oh, right. Okay. Just this angle is yes, different. Yeah. But you've got all the patterns, uh, templates in there ready for you. But again, this is going to be one where you need to oh. Yeah, you, where you need to work out which fabric goes yeah, where. Yeah, so, because... so what I did here is just a couple of examples again. Uh, on the actual picture of the cushion, I just taped the four... That was the diamond one here that That's you made that there, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you put the, the sample of each of the four fabrics on the bottom, gave them a... a oh, no, so you did dark, medium, pale and totally yes, pale, Yes, yeah. I've called them dark, medium, light, medium and light. Right, OK. Um, and then you can see from your pattern where they've all got to go. That's right. Um, in the pattern, it explains on, on each of the segments, yeah. there are only four. You've got an A, a B, a C and a D. Right. So that, on the uh, pattern, yeah. it tells you which A's and which B's and which C's... Come out of which fabric. Come out of which fabric. So you line up your four different fabrics. So that one at the top there, the light one, you only do A5, A11 and B2. Which is those three pieces there. Oh, OK. Yeah. But that one there, that the light one, medium, there's is, lots of that one. Yes, which is what you'd probably call the background. Yes. So on this one, it's the uh, heron, I think, in yes. the linear. Yeah. So now, do you use all, nearly all that fabric then? No, again, there was quite a, a bit left. But what I uh, mentioned in the instructions and what I wanted to mention here is that when you start, before you start cutting out all your little pieces, cut out your back, your cushion backing. Oh, out of the one that you yeah. wanted out of. Because there's enough in the pack to make two cushions. Oh, brilliant. And two backings. Oh, brilliant. But they'd be different coloured backings. But they'd be different coloured backings. And I would recommend that you use 
the very darkest. Well, I was going to say you wouldn't one. use you wouldn't use this one, would you? <laughs> no. no, you could possibly. Oh, okay. But, but I would some, think on it's the a safe side. Tight. So I'd use the very darkest, which you don't use too many, yeah. too many of, and, and the, the very palest. Lightest. Yeah, because you can yeah. see that from on the chart here. You see, you only cut three three pieces out of the pale or the light, and only one, two, three, four, five pieces out of the darkest piece there. Or well, actually, you could use that, that one. one, that yes, one there you as could well. Use that one. So as long as you don't use that one, I would say, just to be on the safe yeah. side, you can use yeah. any of them. Okay, or you brilliant. could have two colours. Oh, yeah, the envelope back here. So sort of starting at the end, really, do your cutting out and hemming of your envelope back pieces. Perfect. Okay. So and are in the instructions that say what size to cut out it for does. the envelope yes, back. Yes, I well. think it's 12 by 16. Okay. Oh, 12 and a half by 16 and a half, because it finishes at 16. Perfect. Okay. So that's just to show you the prep. Yeah. And then, as I explained, there are two segments. So if we again reduce that, there's a top half, which is the A, bottom half is the B. Right. So we will start with the B or even the D sections, right. purely because they are the easiest. Right. Oh, OK. So if you've not done it before, it's a good way to before, get you into the swing of it. It is, because there are only three pieces on your pattern. They're just very simple. I'll show you, obviously, how yes. to do this, but they're very simple, three pieces. Yes. You get to do that eight times. So by oh, the time right. you've done those eight, you'll really be into the, th the, the swing of how to do foundation Because piecing. if people haven't done foundation paper piece, piecing before, as a sewer, it, it goes against everything that you want yes. to do. However, like I said about Shimoy Mary earlier, she had done a bit of sewing, but not much. She just took to it. She could, her brain just worked yes. perfectly with yes. it. And I think once you get into a routine, oh, yes. your brain starts accepting it. But when you first start, you're like, as I say, you're going, no, this is the wrong, this is the wrong way round. This is the wrong, because everything is back to front, really, isn't it? It is. And, and don't be afraid to make a few mistakes. You will. Yes. But the pieces that you're using are quite small, so you wouldn't waste very no. much. No. Um, and it, it is getting the mindset set because with foundation paper piecing the paper is the foundation onto which you sew the fabric which is where it gets its yeah, name from yeah you sew on this side where the lines are but your fabrics go on the back yes yes so that's where people get a bit confused yes. you can if you want to write or even trace the lines on the back as well if you want to but i think you're you're safer keeping the lines on the sewing side it's weird because we've had four different of or four different experts all doing this, and each four of them have done it differently. Right. They all do it a slightly different way because that's the way they were taught how to do it. Yes. Angie does it the way you've just said. She draws the pictures, the right, the lines on the wrong side as well, yes, and just follows do. it that way around. But we're going to do your method today. Yep. Or perhaps draw them in a in a different way. Yeah. So from the pattern, you will either photocopy or trace all your pattern pieces. Oh yes, now because you, you need because you, you need. However many sections you're going, yeah. you need that many you need pieces. Four of those. Four of those. So you need to photocopy of eight of the, the bottom section. Four of each. Yeah, four of each one. Well, those are the same anyway, so you right. could just do eight of those. But and then these, you need to do four of that and four of that. Yes, right. because you can see they're a different yes. way around. Perfect. Okay. okay. So um, to start with, we'll start with the, the little simplest, simplest one. Yes. The light, I even wrote it. Yeah, well, no, I do that. I'd write on them what they are. I just are. wrote the, um, D1, what the piece D. was. Yeah, because if you've got them out on your table like this and somebody opens a window and they all waft off your table, yeah. or, you know, if your caravan rocks, you know, if the windows are open. <laughs> um, but you know what I mean? It's kind of like, if they, if they all were to get them up, you'd never know without sitting down going, oh, this must be this one, this must be this one. At least your way, you've got them all, all labelled. Yes, I did. Although when you're foundation piecing and you get more into it, you'll find that you use up smaller and smaller scraps. Yes. When you start out, I would suggest be really generous, you know, less is more in some things in foundation paper piecing, more is more. So to, to begin with, till to you begin get into the swing. Till you get into yes, the swing. Yeah, yeah. And you'll oh, yeah, find that nothing you worse don't. than placing it, turning it over and then it missing the line that's completely. Right, that's right, that's right. You, and you need a quarter inch seam allowance everywhere as you go around, yes. which I'll, I'll demonstrate right. to you. So this is going to have two slightly darker pieces either side and the light one in the middle. Right. As explained, you sew. Turn the paper over. On that side so the fabric goes on this side. Right. But now the fabric comes right sides on this first one, right, right sides, sides facing you. Yeah. yeah, that's the first step and that's the only time 
your fabric is yes. right sides up. Um, and, and just, I don't know if I mentioned this, your paper patterns will look the wrong way around to how it comes out on the cushion. Right. They've been printed the wrong way around, so they come, come out, out the right, the right way around. Like, like letters, when you're transferring letters yeah. onto a plique and things, yes, they're all exactly, back to front, aren't they? Exactly. So lay your first piece of fabric across the middle. That's going to cover those lines plenty. Normally, you'd probably hold that up to a light or to a window. Um, I did just bring a little torch. Oh, yes. Um, Covered it with a bit of tissue so it wouldn't be too... Yeah, we did. We had one day, we had these light boxes thinking we could... We had to, they all flew out that minute. Yes, I don't know whether... Hang you, on, if you just hold there, they'll be it. fine, you. Oh, you can sort of, you yeah. can sort of see through there, can't you? I, um... Yeah. Yeah, I doled yeah. out the torch a bit so it didn't dazzle Yeah, don't worry. Folks. But that's a, a way to do it. And um, another way is if you've got a, a, a glass coffee table or a perspex sheet like this, either a little... Um, table lamp or one of those little battery lamps. Oh, underneath? underneath. Oh, you use it as a yes. Light table. Have you so. got a glass coffee table, Hannah? She never invited me round, just say something. <laughs> okay, she says, plastic boxes when... Put a see-through plastic box with a lamp underneath it, yeah. and then you put it on the top of there. Yes. She's yes, just, she's just right. realised that. Yeah. yeah, so then you can see through it. So you don't need to have, uh, yeah. you know, all the uh, yeah. equipment to start with. Okay. Okay, so our first piece, face up, in the middle. Right. Do you fix that at all? I would pin the second piece onto it. OK, so, so you, that one just stays? That one just stays there. Okay. And I haven't cut a particular quarter inch there. I've just cut just a straightish it. line, plonked it on. Well, we know we've got enough. Straightish? That side. Oh, that side. What about that side? That side's not straight. <laughs> that side's definitely... No. Bent. Curved. Like right, me. OK, so as long as it covers both of the lines either side... That's right, so it will It doesn't really matter, does both it? Both of those lines. Yeah. So the second piece now, this is face down. Right. But it's right sides together with the piece that you've right already got down. Right sides together. So yeah. on the bottom is right side up. Yeah. Next piece, right side, right down. side down. Yeah. And you'll continue in that way from yeah. here on in. So I would pin this. Right. You can pin from either side, but be aware that if you pin from the fabric side, when you put it through the machine, you oh, might catch, catch on the you. foot plate. So I would tend to, to, to pin from the writing side. Because that's the side you're going to be Because that's the side from. you're going to be sewing on, so the pin will be away from the footbed. OK. But it's up, up to you. OK, how do you stop the bottom fabric from folding underneath the mid... the Because you're, you're going to be sewing from this side... Yep. ...down... Down that side. That, that, which one do you want? That one there. How do you stop this fabric from... Because you can't see it, can you? It's, it's, is there any techniques to stop? If you're saying that, that could easily, if you're not concentrating, do that and then you've it, stitched it, through it. It could. What you could do is use a little bit of fabric glue to hold that. Oh, OK. But because your pieces are so large, yeah. I think you should be all right. You should be. All right. okay. you, should um, be. you should be all right. Yeah, and you can just see a little bit sticking yeah. out there. Okay. If you'd like with any fabric when you're sewing it, you just got oh, to watch what, yeah, what exactly. you're doing. So this is going to be the first line that we sew here. Right. Does it matter if you work from top to bottom or bottom to top? Or It doesn't. I tend to work from probably the widest to the narrowest, so I probably start at this end and okay. work, work here, but it doesn't make any difference. And before you go to the machine, do you start at the intersect because this is your seam allowance here, isn't yes, it? Yes, I should mention that. Do you start at the intersection or do you start beyond? What, what I do is when I trace out the pattern, the solid lines are the actual finished size. Yes. This lighter line is the seam allowance, right. quarter of an inch, but I tend to cut the paper out a little bit bigger. You need your fabrics to overlap at least to the seam allowance. Oh, so making so it gives you a bit of the paper room. bigger, yeah. you'll think, oh, I'll go to the edge of the paper right. rather than that. That's right. And then you'll trim down to the seam okay. allowance before you join the pieces Okay, together. but then stitching-wise, stitching you have wise, to go from where that line intercepts that line to exactly where that line no, intercepts I that line. No, I don't. Oh, OK. So I know some people do. Um, I tend to start, what I would say, two stitches early. Um, and then two stitches. Oh, OK. So you go slightly into slightly the seam allowance. Because if you don't, if you can imagine at that junction, and particularly when you get more pieces, yeah. if you've just started on there and the thread just comes a little bit loose, you'll end up with a little hole. Yeah. Oh, that's the last thing you want when you... Yeah. Yes, yes. So I would start at a couple of stitches. Okay. All that will happen is when you fold your papers back, as I'll show later, is you tear a little bit of the paper, but the fabric is fine. Yeah, yeah. OK, perfect. And it just gives you that extra security. Yeah. You can also um, 
Oh, I don't think this is switched on. Oh, we're not switched on. Not switched on. The, um, oh, there you go. Stitch length could be reduced as well. Right. Um, I tend to sew between about 1.5 and 2. What I would say is that if you're a beginner and Let's be honest, you might make one or two mistakes. You will make, no, you will make mistakes. You yeah. will make mistakes. So yeah. if you sew at a two, it's easy to unpick. Yes, I was going to say 1.5 to unpick is a bit of a nightmare. No, if you've sewn it at 1.5 and, and, and you've made a mess, I'd just stop. Oh, OK, fine. <laughs> but why does the stitch have to be smaller, then? The stitch, the idea of that is to make it easier to tear away the paper at the end. So it's like a stamp. Well, no, no, stamps it's... used to be, not anymore. They still come in sticky no, books now, no, don't they? But... Yes, even worse. Yeah. They, they um, got a... Just to show you, again, I, I tend to use this sort of recycled paper. This, okay, is, this yeah, is a foundation okay. paper piece. Yeah, we're it's... planning on, I think Wendy's planning on trying I'm to get that in for us, yes. but it's not here today It's yet. Um, a rough, it's like a recycled. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's very fine. It, I tell you what it feels like. It feels like, well, back in my day, anyway, children's colouring in yes, book pages. I mean, it, yes. youngsters out there might not know what that means, but yes. it's like kind of got a texture to that's it. That's right, yes, yeah. which means it's very absorbent. So I've yes. drawn on this in a felt pen, it's all bled because it's so... Uh, oh, OK. Yeah. And this is just ordinary photocopy yeah. paper. If, when you've sewn with longer stitches, this kind of paper, photocopy paper, is harder to, to, to take out at the end, this paper is easier, which oh, is, okay. which is a, yeah. again useful. But I've just left one on here to show you. This is the sort of the end stage. But if you've done fairly small stitches, it's just oh, it literally a just perforated out, yeah. line. It just tears out. OK, perfect. So that one's really, um, yeah. really handy. So All right, we have that. to get to that stage yet. Though, yeah, we haven't got there yet. <laughs> Nowhere near. Right. We'll sew the first scene. OK. While you're sewing that, let's have a look at a picture from Marcy. That's, oh, what date is it? What date is it today? What date is it? Yeah. Eight, 19th is Marcy's birthday on the 25th. Mustn't forget. Where's, where's Mar Marcia made a quilt for her husband. She, has, she made me a gorgeous little um, hanging quilt for home. She made a, a, a quilt for her husband and she hand quilted this beautiful quilt for her husband's birthday. So what she made this time? Oh, she's, oh, she set up with, have a look, look. We're on the tablet, me and Sally are on the tablet and then the wedding's on the computer by the side. And what, and something else? Oh, she's ha doing hand stitching while she watches both. That's what I'd be doing. Just while uh, you're talking there, I'm swapping my foot over. I had a, a quarter inch foot oh, yes, when yes, I was yes. doing the previous. Yeah. Um, but just an ordinary. The normal foot. Yeah. Is it the, the one A that foot? you can see through oh, yeah, the A the foot. Oh, no, the yeah. OK. Yeah. Um, apparently, Meghan Markle's wearing a veil. That's all we know. Well, how do you know? Because she's not coming out till one minute to 12. Oh, she's in a car. So she's going in the car. She's got an Uber. From, from the hotel to Prince Charles, and they'll get in the carriage together from there. Right, back with you. Thank you. So, stitch length reduced if you wish. Yep. I'm going for a two. A couple of stitches before the line. You don't, you don't do a backwards and forwards, then? You don't need to, no. because if you do those couple of little stitches, as the seams cross, that'll secure Perfect. them. Yeah. And the other thing with this is, particularly when you're working with very small pieces, and lots of pieces, you'll get more and more bulk. So the less bulk you can yes, of course. get away with. So again, the automatic cut feature on these is Yes, brilliant. exactly. Yeah. So we now have our first two pieces sewn together. Yeah. But we've got a rather large lot of fabric yes. in the flopping edge. Again, to reduce the bulk, we would use... So you've just folded so the just fabric folded over along the stitch on line. the line of stitching, yeah. OK? Yeah. Fold that uh, along that line yeah. of stitching. And then um, these are out of quarter rulers. Yeah, we have got them normally in stock, but we're out of stock at the moment. I haven't seen that yeah. little dinky pink one. Has that got your name label on it? It has. Yeah. As everything has. <laughs> uh, this is a pink one because I bought it years and years ago and it was in, in um, aid of a breast cancer oh, care Oh, lovely. Charity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's we will be getting ours one. back in stock. We have a big one like that. We don't have the pink one. We have that one and a small yellow one. But anyway, carry on. So the, ad the idea of the outer quarter is to add a quarter inch seam. It's got a ridge Oh yes. here. Whenever, the reason we haven't gotten these is every time we bring them to air, they sell out because oh, so, so you can use them so, so many, many things. things yes, yeah. yeah, this is only one. Yeah. So butt that ledge up against the edge of the paper. Yeah. Even with this thin paper, that, that really works well. Oh. Mm. And let me just trim that away. 
So you're trimming off both fabrics. Both those, yeah. You need new yeah. blades in your rotary cutter. Do you know, I changed it just before I came out, oh, so I'm not quite sure what I've... Perhaps you haven't put it in properly. Possibly. Or maybe somebody just swapped the name label on it while you've not been watching. Yes. <laughs> you need an okay, iron at so this point. So we've trimmed that away. Yeah. Oops. Right, loads of people have got the diamond one in their basket. We're using the amethyst one here. In the main, go in the main graphic. OK. So as uh, I mentioned before, I would set the seam by pressing it as it's sewn. Yes. Yeah. Particularly with this technique, that gives you that the stitches will bed into the fabric and it will give you a nice crisp seam when you turn it, turn it out. So press it back and press again. So now this is because a lot of quilters don't press as they're going along, but this one it's almost imperative to press in every single... I just do anyway yeah. for, for everything because I think it does make a crisper seam. Um, the stitches bed in, because um, if you can imagine, if you've got the extra stitching sticking up, it might only be a one thirty second of an inch, but if you've got 32 patches, exactly. that's, uh, yeah. that's an inch yeah, out. Exactly, yeah, exactly. So, you know, that, that's, the way, that's, the way, that's the way I roll. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> right, OK, so we've done the first one. So we've done one. the first one. Now, for the second one, this is how the rest of it will, will go. We now need to sew from this, this piece to onto this piece. Yes. How do you do that? Where do you know to where to put it? So, what I do... I have a little postcard. OK, where's that no from? No brands on. Madeira. Oh, is that one you've bought? Oh, no, it hasn't been sent to you. It's got no writing on it. I got it there. Yeah, no, it had your it address on it. it was all... No, no, no. Yeah. Any old postcard yeah. or just a bit of oh. card. It could be filing card. Oh, yeah, because that's one, the one that's I've got one, to yeah, make the, the thing right. Um Or cereal box card, anything okay. like that. It only needs to be a bit of thin card. And just use it as a guide. So for your next sewing line, Put your card on that line. Yeah. Between the two pieces. Fold it back. See, this is a fifth. This is a fifth different way of doing it. I know you've done this before. Yeah, go on. Um, so again, just like when we did the stitching line, you've now got an edge to cut against. So you cut it off now before you stitched anything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I'll show you why. So we cut that away. Yeah. Okay. You've got a quarter inch seam. You now know oh, yes. your next piece. You can line up with you that can fabric. Line it up. Oh, clever. Okay. Yeah. So pin again. And as, as I've mentioned, pin, I pin from the right yes. side, but that's entirely up to you. And also, you have to make sure when you're pinning it, don't start. Make sure it overlaps both ends because when you fold it back, you've got to really cover the whole of that triangle. You have to cover you? the whole of it. I've done really large pieces here so that it will cover it. Adequately, yes. and that's what I would recommend for for a beginner. Cut your pieces much bigger. Yeah. All that will happen is you'll be left with pieces that you can use for smaller yes, sections. Yes, yes, yeah. Um, and all your obviously not those. Really, no, <laughs> no. But I still wouldn't throw those away. Wouldn't you? No. What would you use those for? Well, long ones. I use them to tie my tomatoes up. Oh. Uh. Nothing to do with sewing then. Oh, actually, my pin needs to be tying up. So That's what I use it... salvages for as well. You get lovely little oh. pretty... Oh, yes. And the rest I put into either a large pillowcase or a bag-shaped Oh, thing. no, I've seen that. A stuff, a and stuff it for a, yeah. a cat or dog bed, because I've got dogs in a cat. Oh, have you? So. Mm -hmm. What kind of dogs have you got? Japanese Shiba Inus. Oh, yeah, of course I know what one of those is. A like, Japanese Shiba Inu? They look like little foxes and they're a distant relative of, um, like, huskies. Oh. But they're this kind of colour. Oh. Kind of colour. Yeah. oh! You've got one of those? I've got two of those. Two of those. A boy and a girl and a cat called Monty. And what's Monty? He's a, a, a white tabby. He's a tabby but with a white chest and white oh. feet. Oh! And he's got attitude, you think? I've got attitude. Oh, right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, because I've got two cats. I've got Norman and Ellie, two Burmese, uh, you see. Right, OK, so just that's it. So now we've got an exact quarter-inch seam allowance. We butt that one up. Yeah. Right to it, we're perfect. Back to the machine. On the, the other side. line side. A couple of stitches before the line starts. And a couple afterwards. Oh, I've gone off there. Oh, what, what happens if you go off then? Um, Normally, in real life? In real life, I would probably unpick it. OK. Um, it's because I can't see. Oh, no. I just have got <laughs> me to sew that for you then. <laughs> because my problem at the moment is I can't see straight lines very oh, well. Oh, OK. Um, oh, excuse me. It's terrible. She's 
Oh, you hardly off it, just well, a little bit, yeah. So, so now Hannah's saying, if you're stitching and it rips the paper as you're going along, what happens then? It doesn't matter. If you rip the paper, and if you want to pick it, you probably will rip yeah. the paper. What I would probably do is either just tape it back together. Like wishy tape or sort of Yes, scotch or tape just or a little bit of fabric glue. Oh, yes, 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 yeah. yeah. OK. So don't panic. And yeah. the line will still be there, you'll see, you know, yeah. so, so there you go. Okay. So we're going to, again, press that open. So have you been to Madeira recently? No, not for a long time. Oh. But, uh, yeah, it's lovely. Oh, it's lovely all year Madeira. round. Though. Yeah, that's yeah. what I heard, yeah. Yeah. We haven't finished yet. Yes, I went in January once and it was as warm as it is here now. Oh. And beautiful flowers everywhere. Oh, really? Yes. It's, uh, I think it's called the Garden Island. Oh, is it? I thought that was <laughs> Ireland. Because it's always green there, isn't it? It's probably well, it's green Emerald places. Island, isn't it? Right, OK. OK, so that is now this piece here. Yeah. Before we've trimmed it. And do you, do you trim it down now? Or do you just leave it and do I, all I the trimming I would probably later? trim it down. OK. I would probably trim it down. So we'll do that. Uh, I'm loving the simple explanation of FPP from the, from the new guest. This is Sally. This is Sally. Um, Shiba Inus are adorable. Yes. They look like um, little foxes. Yes. Oh, I'm going to have yeah. to look them up now. Hannah, look them up for me. Uh, now, do you use your fabric rotary cutter to cut this even though there's paper in it? I do, which is probably worse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> go blunt. Same with the needles. You will find that you probably need to use um, a needle every time you start a foundation piecing project. Okay. Um, and you may blunt your, your, your cutters. Um, but honestly, it won't just happen every time. No, no, no. You know. But but if so, say you were doing this one Sunday afternoon, didn't finish it, and the next morning you're doing a quilt, would you then change the needle to start the quilt if you've done a day's worth of I paper would, cutting? I would, I would. And what I tend to do is keep the needle that I've used for this in my pin cushion. Or labelled or something. Put a dab of uh, nail, nail, it, uh, nail what, polish on it. OK, yeah, some, one of our uh, experts has got a little, like, Marmite, Marmite jar or something, and she puts all of... Yeah. The paper needles yes. it in there. Yes. Anyway, we'll the, carry the on halfway is, through the show already. Um, there are some uh, techniques you can do where you actually make dots on a piece of paper, so keep your needles for that. Oh, OK. OK, yeah. perfect. Right. OK, so... So now you're cutting down to exactly on the seam allowance. On the seam allowance. You could use your add a quarter ruler, but use it with the ridge facing yes. up, so you haven't got a wobbly ruler. Yeah. Uh, I'm using a, an ordinary yes. one here. So, sorry, just want to make sure I don't fall over. Oh, uh, oh, look, does your, uh, we won't show this because obviously it's, uh, we're just looking yes, at the dogs there. Oh, uh, how big are they? About knee high. Oh, OK. Yes, yes, quite small. Oh, beautiful. Have they got a nice temperament? Yes, they're oh. very good with children, um, older people. Um, well, just look at me when you say that. Older people, John, you'll be all right, older people. <laughs> just keep cutting. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're absolutely brilliant. Oh. But you don't let them off the lead because they wouldn't come back. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, you can't train them, then? You can try. Oh, OK. They learn very quickly. And they also learn to do it once, and then they get bored. Oh, OK. I think it didn't love me if it wouldn't come back. Oh, they just, they just love everybody. So oh, go, you know, I see. Yeah. So they are like Burmese cats, because Burmese cats will just wander up and get love for, from anybody. Yes, yeah. yeah, that's it. I mean, they will come back, but you just never know when. Yeah. Oh, no, that's and stressing, like that would, isn't it? Yeah, no, no, you don't that, want that. So. They're on long leads when we're out. Oh. So again, shimmy. And there is just a, a little guide oh, here. Oh, yeah, to, it's, all, it's on the pattern. So yeah, it's on the pattern. And the reason for that is just to reduce a bit of bulk on, the, on the corners and the same here. OK. Now, while you prepare to do the big square triangle, I'm just yep. going to go and do bundles. OK. And then we can show us the complicated bit. Because we're, right. halfway, we're halfway through the show Ooh, now. OK, so. fine. Um, oh, right, the amethyst we're starting with, which is the one that Sally's using, because uh, it's got the one with the most checked out. You get two metres of fabric, half a metre of each uh, spray time. You get the instructions and you get the uh, thread for £24.99. February's birthstone. This is the uh, this is the purple one. It's a computer generated one. You haven't made it yet, have you? In purple. No, it's computer generated. Computer generated. That's what your purple one could look like. Okay, and that's your topaz one at the bottom there. But anyway, let's move on now to diamonds. Lots of these. Oh, excuse me. Lots of these in baskets. 
you get half of a meter of each of those linear prints. You get the thread and you get the instructions. And now the instructions I'll show you in a second. Uh, 24 pounds and 99 pence. There's the finished cushion. And look, if you look at the pattern, you can see that the different colors are already, are already on there. Do you know what I mean? So that's, quite, that's very helpful as well, isn't it? OK, so that's that one. And then topaz, which I would have called sapphire. I would have said sapphire, but topaz. You've got Swiss blue. Oh, Man and Bahia, that was the other one. Man and Bahia, Swiss blue, London blue, and sky. 24 pounds and 99 pence, two meters of fabric, thread, and the instructions. OK, let's get on with the difficult bit now. I won't chatter so much. Well, you say it's a difficult bit. I don't, I've tried to design it so it isn't too yes. difficult. It's numbered from A1 through to A11. So they're all A's, that section, are This they? section is all A's. And then A's, they'll be all B's or something like Which is like. yes. that one there. OK, perfect. And then the B's the other way. <coughs> Excuse me. So we start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. You're just moving across. The last piece is, is, the, is, big, the, yeah. is the big one. So do you start again with one being the opposite to all the others? The, the first A1 piece will is... be the right way right, up. Yes. And um, if, we, if we check the, 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 the pattern to, to make sure, A1 is the background, in my case, yes. uh, fabric. That which one is, there, which the light is this one, here. one yeah. yeah. So that's this triangle here. Yeah. So again, start with a really big piece. That's huge, that's isn't huge. it? Yes, it's just yeah. huge. But from what I was just cutting out before, I've got these other large yes, pieces. Yes, you could have used. So yeah. I would probably use one of yeah. those. But for the uh, demonstration's sake, we'll use a really big one. Yeah. Face up. The next one along is A2, which is the darkest colour. Yeah. It happens to be that one. <coughs> this one goes face down. And just make sure that it's large enough to cover the A2 section yes. when you flip it over. Again, yeah. this is huge. So it would but be I think when you're starting, you better be safe than sorry having the bigger... I mean, Absolutely. like you say, you're not wasting... You're not wasting very much, much at, at all, all no. And the more proficient you get, which you will do by the time you finish this, you'll be quite um, yes. quite proficient at it. You'll 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 start using the smaller and smaller pieces. Yeah. Well, that'll become part of the challenge, won't it? It will. So again, pin those two pieces together. I would pin on this, this side. side. The other reason for pinning on this side, because it's a little more complicated, make sure you pin away from the sewing line. Right. Okay. So you sew the line between one between and two. Between one and two. Okay. Yeah. A one, A two. Okay. Okay. Again, a couple of stitches before and a couple of stitches at the end of the line. And you can go right up into the seam allowance if you if you wish. That doesn't matter okay. at all. So I've gone right off into the seam allowance right. there. OK, so I'm going to fold this back. We're going to so you always huge... fold the line that you just stitched. Yeah. yeah. So I'm Get your half, a quarter inch. Quarter inch up against the paper. It's a good solid. Yeah. And trim that away. And you've got a piece there. It is my blade, isn't it? Yeah. It's not. Mm -hmm. I've got a little nick in that. So you've got pieces there to use for yeah. something else. We're now going to, to piece A3. So I would do the, the little, well, we need to press that actually first, yeah. don't we, to, to, to do. Getting out of sequence. Oh, sorry, <laughs> taking it away from you now. Again, what's that doing there? <laughs> so press the seam. Closed, press open, put it quickly. Now here we've got A3 comes next. Right. Doesn't really matter which way, but A3 comes next. So we need to do that folding back thing again to get okay. the seam allowance. So my trusty postcard between lines A2 and A3, put the postcard or piece of card, yeah. fold back. It's the adding a quarter inch that I think I'd forget. I'd automatically go and cut that where that is. Yes, it, you, yeah. you kind of get into a little routine. Yeah. And especially if you've got set up here, like you have here, sewing machine, cutting board, ironing, um, it gets it gets into quite yes. a little. And also, repetitive... if you're making this home, you wouldn't have me whittering on in your ear. You wouldn't have <laughs> thousands of people watching you at home and things like that. Are there? Yes. Oh. <laughs> So, um, might be not so now if she's if she's in the car with her veil on. We might have lost oh, a few people yeah. now. Oh. Well, the princes have arrived now. Is he in a uniform? They're both in uniform. He might be watching this on his little. Yeah, yeah, not likely. No. Okay, so that's been trimmed. Yes. We now know 
Yeah, what number are you on now? Three. That's the light medium A3. A4. Oh, A4. Sorry, you're next. Yeah. Because this, this one is slightly different. We're going in a, in a bit of a circle with oh, okay. this one. Oh, okay. Oh, A4 is the same as well. A4 is like medium same. anyway, yeah. So again, trusty postcard, fold over. And this is what I was saying. If you oh, stitch over, yes, yes, yeah. you'll Usually. rip the paper a little bit. But, but it, it doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't matter at all. And trim that away. So then you've got your line to put your A3 piece, your yeah. A3 piece on. Okay. A3 is another one of these light medium, light mediums. So we could use. Oh, you just can use. Oh no, you've got to piece. Yes, yeah, various pieces. Yeah. Put that one. And again, way over. Yes. Way over. We're not even going to this time. this one, just to watch the time, really. And and again, once you get a bit more comfortable with it. There's no need to pin every yeah, time yeah. if you don't. Want well, to. also when the pieces are that big, if those pieces were much, much bigger, you'd have to pin, you wouldn't would, you? Isn't you that would. Big? But it's not really yeah. going to move. So they've so. got a nice quarter-inch seam sewn. Again, we press it over. Then. She's done it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> She's done it wrong. <laughs> yeah, I've done it wrong. That dark piece should be there. Um. And that piece should be there. Whoops. So now if you did that at home, you'd say, that's what I wanted. Because it's your that's first one, yes, you'd make them all yes. like that. Um, so what would you do at home? Just unpick it all, just I chuck would, that and start I would again. unpick that, yes. All right, then. I would unpick but it. But don't, don't worry now, just keep going yeah, now. No, sorry, I've, I did so A1 and A2 back to front, so I do apologise. Don't worry. But, um, yeah, that's the worst that will happen. Oh, OK. OK. Yeah. <laughs> so, so also not the... Well, the thing is, I suppose, it, if you left it as it was, it would spoil your pattern. It would, or you could... Choose make to them make all. it that way. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Well, it depends yeah. how. Oh no, because if you're only on one, then the, the decision is yours. So if that's number sixteen, or you're only sixteen, if that's number five. Yes. Then you have to unpick yes. it or start oh, would. again. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, but still, the principle hopefully will show you. And this is the benefit of foundation piecing that you get very sharp, accurate points. Oh yes. Um, because I would struggle to do that if I was. Well, you would better patch one. You would better patch with that, you, wouldn't you? You could, but, but, but yeah. you know. Um, so yeah, imagine that piece is there. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so nice. what's the next one then? So the next one is a four, which is at the bottom, which again will be a light that one. Medium, yeah. So shall I do a dark one just to show? Yeah, the contrast, just to show the then? difference. Yeah, because we're not going to make any more, no, are we? You've no. got the two already made, That's just to right. show the principle of it. So postcard on the line between three and four. Trim away the excess. Actually, it's always worth seeing what can happen when things go wrong yeah. because you know you're not going to panic. And well, the thing is, I, I don't want to um, diffuse what we do, but we're not saving anybody. If my brother, my brother's a surgeon, right? If he made that mistake, going, oh, I've put the wrong kidney in or taken the wrong kidney out or something, then it's major, isn't it? it if we've sewn the wrong stitch, the wrong stitch, we unpick it and we start again, mm, or we go, right. we blaspheme, blaspheme a little bit, and then get, go for a cup of tea and come back and start again. It's not the end of the world it's if you make a mistake. It's not the end of the world, no, it isn't. And that's often how um, new ideas and new designs come about, because you make a mistake and you think, oh, that oh, looks better yeah. than, yeah. you know. So, oh. sorry. No, no, that's right. Mm. Press this one again to set the seam. Press open. So, so though, now, uh, would you would you only make that block and then go to the next one, or would you do all? So, if you're making four of those, did you say? Yes. Would you do all four A ones, then all four A twos, then all four A threes? I, I think I would. I would do all the because um, the A the A is the top part. Yeah. Or the B is the top part. C and D are the bottom parts. So I would do all the C and Ds first. Yeah. Um, and then I do all the A and Bs. Yes. So, so you would, uh, but you'd these. also do a, you do four A ones, four A twos, yeah. four A threes. Yeah. So you're doing yeah. the same piece of the pattern. Yes, each time. I yeah. would. So it's almost like um, string piecing. Yes. Yeah. But you're doing it on the paper. Okay. That also helps not to make mistakes. Well, no, I was going to say you then realise because you're making four of the same. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. You'll soon. Get well, all four of them would be identical then. If you make the mistake, you'd, all four of them would be the you same. Would. So, notwithstanding the mistake, again, you can see that the points are really sharp yeah and that is the the trick with foundation piecing and um, I think as other designers have shown you can use this technique to create curves yes um, this one is all about straight, straight lines line, and angles Joe. but now um, Hannah's saying she wants to do this and she wants to make two cushions 
Would there be enough for two cushions plus Hannah's mistakes? Yes. Yes, definitely. Because when I... Excuse me a second. Yes, we do know how many mistakes you're going to make, Hannah, because look how much we're going to show you now. Right, so I made that cushion. Yeah. I've got more than enough to make another the second one. one. And the, the backs backing, as well. And the backings. And the backs. More than enough. Oh, yes, Hannah. Um, and that includes some of my mistakes, because I was testing out the yes, pattern. Yes, yes, yes. And to go even more, that was what I had completely unusable left over. So they're your tomato So Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So there's very little waste. People say there's waste, but it's tiny. No, no, exactly. So, so yeah, yeah, so there is room for it. There is room. Don't there be is. thinking, oh, if I buy that bundle, I might make one yeah. and then not have enough to make the second one. You'll have enough to do both of them and your little mistakes as well. A useful tip, though, is, yeah. um, and, and this isn't any of the fabrics we're, we're using, but um, have a go with some just scrap fabric first. If you don't want to start cutting into your nice fabrics, just cut out something yes. that you've um, got. So the first time you do, mind you, that looks quite. Good. I mean, I know this isn't the fabric we're selling, but that black, that monochrome looks a lovely yeah, look as well. Because easy. once they bought the bundle as well, you've then got the pattern anyway. That's right. So you can then go, oh, I'd like this in red, white, and blue, or I'd yeah. like it in yellow, pink, and you know what I mean. You can make your own decisions. You could do the whole gemstone range, couldn't you? You could have, you, you know, paparazzi sapphires. You could have all sorts of things going on. You could do um, the gemstone that's applicable to the. Um, person's birthstone. birthstone yeah. If it was for a couple for a wedding, you could do for one for each. Yeah. You could do um, for a golden wedding, a, a, a gold one, a ruby wedding. Yeah, oh yeah. it was endless, endless, it really, is. isn't it? it? Is. it okay, is. so if we've done all of those, yep. we then do the same as we did with that. We trim it to the we trim it. seam allowance. Yep, exactly the same way. So the next piece is, is to A5. Yeah. So postcard again. Yeah. Fold back. I'll now you've the... got um. That's, that's from the bottom of the last one. Because I just stitched extra into the seam yeah. allowance, I would just fold that back. Yeah, okay. Again, it's torn the paper a tiny bit, but the paper's coming off yeah. anyway. And you're going to then trim it down and to quarter an inch anyway. I'm going to trim it down to anyway, quarter yeah. an inch again. So take that out of the way. And then we can sew on our A5 piece. OK, now Linda's saying, if you're making a large foundation paper piece in quilt, with, will one needle last or do you need to change it during? If you were doing, well, not that one, obviously, but if you're doing a... Obviously, that's a little... If you were doing a big quilt in them, would you change a needle more than once during the whole quilt? I would if it started to not sew properly. So that's when, you, uh, yes. when it starts. And, yes. and what, what are the signs that people should look for? Well, when you're sewing just fabrics without the paper, yeah. you can normally tell when your needle is wearing out because it starts to make a popping sound. Yes. Unfortunately, when you're sewing on paper, it makes a popping sound anyway. Yes. So if you just feel it's not sewing properly, just test on Get a two of your little scrap scraps. bits, yeah. yeah. And if it makes a bit of a popping sound or it seems to snag, change your needle. Okay. But, but needles are... So we're full of tips today, aren't well, we? Well, needles are pennies, yes. you know, yeah. so treat your fabric with Oh, love. no, no, no. And also, it can, it can make the difference between a beautifully finished off yeah. garment or, or, yes. or piece of work or not, because yes. if it's pulling the fabric and pulling the, right. the threads of the fabric, you don't want that. And you? also you might get a bit of nesting if your needle's got a burr on the end of it. OK, it nesting is? Nesting is when all your little threads on the back seam are all just in a little clump. bird's nest yeah. clump on the bottom. And that's, um, in my experience, more caused by a little bit of fluff in the inside bottom. there. Yeah. So, again, with this technique, because you're using paper, you might find an extra bit of lint in the bottom oh, yes, but you're going to find all those popping bits of paper that you've pushed yeah, through. Yeah. They would they they be in there, in there as well, yeah. So it's always worth giving, giving a little bit oh, of yes, clean exactly. out. But I always think it's worth giving a little clean before you start. Yeah. Um, yeah. OK, so... So we've, set, we've, we've um, created our sharp edge for our A5 piece. Have you cut, have you cut A4 back, then? Have you done, did we do that? Did I we miss did that, that. We did that, yes. OK, yes, yes, yes. That was yeah. these bits that I got left over. Um, what number are you so on to I'm now? So I'm going to go... Well, you're going to have to just make your mind I'm up now. I'm just going yes. for it now. Yeah. So I'm going to go with the light one so okay. you can see the difference. So you line it up again. This is huge piece. Yes. <laughs> We're only covering a triangle. You might want to pin that one as it's such a large piece. Yeah, but, but you pin again from the pin paper again side. Pin from the paper side, I would, and away from the line you're going to set. Yeah. And you really need one pin so far. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The only time I would use two pins is probably when I'm sewing that yes, big one okay. on. Right, because it's a bit floppy to make sure you don't um, catch it under the so needle, the as you So the big one, the big plain one, 
that's still, you've still got the paper. Oh, yeah, it's still there. You're still doing the same technique and everything. It's not just a bit of fabric yeah. you've added no, to no, it. No, no, it's it. all on the template. Yeah. Um, I could have done it as a separate piece. Yes. But why? Because all you're doing is just neatening off the, the top edge okay. with that one piece. So stitch that again. Oh, yeah. Pressing. So we're, we're aiming to make four of those, four of those, yeah. four of those, and... Well, you're making four of each of those. Those, yeah. But they start with... Oh, that, yes, you've already got that on there. You yeah. added that on, yeah. 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 And then... How many minutes have we got? We're all right for a little while. Um, once you've made all of those with your papers on... Yeah. Oh, right. Do you take the paper out while they're in this shape or yeah. do you sew them together and then take the papers no, out? No, I take the papers out first. OK. Because, again, we were talking about bulk. Yeah. If you're sewing this seam together and you've got several layers of fabric plus a layer of layers paper in of, yes. it... It can get a bit bulky. Okay. What you can do, though, is what I did here. Just take out the paper there. From the seam allowance. Just from the seam allowance. Personally, I'd take the whole lot Okay, out and, right. And so let's it. pretend you've done all of that. Yep. And you've made so those now. Yep. So we've made these and we rip off the papers. That one's got the paper ripped off already. It has it. already, yep. And I'll just press the whole thing yeah, again. Yeah, so that, we don't need that at the moment because that's going on the bottom that's, of that's that one, isn't it? Off, yeah. so, so then now you've got your... Your A, B piece and your C, D piece, yeah. and they join together. Now, like that. you've got, and there's only one, there's only two, pla three places. You've got to match scenes in three different two, places. Two, three places, yeah. yes. One there, one there, one But there's here. no paper. You don't do paper on this one. This is sewing together This is normally. just sewing together as you normally would. So right? how would you guarantee that all three of those... Line up. Line up, exactly. So the, the technique I use, so if we start with the, the middle one, you can mark your quarter inch seam allowance if you want. Yeah. But what I would do is put my pin through at the actual stitch line at a quarter of an inch. Right. So actually through the stitch line. And then on the bottom piece here, you can see where your join is. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Put your pin through there. Uh, do you do your waggle bit again? And I do my waggle. So make sure that your pin is vertical. Perfect. And pin. Oops, didn't do it properly. So that's pinned through. Yeah. And I do the same at this one. Because if you're pinning through the stitching, you know that those seams are going to line up. So now, what happens if you're pinning, because yours are obviously going to line up perfectly, what happens if you do that and one of them doesn't particularly... It's one's... That, that bit between that pin and that pin, what would happen if the top bit was shorter than the bit underneath? Yeah, I think that's what's called ease. Yes. <laughs> you stretch So you just in. sort of... Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's going to be a little bit of stretch on Oh, these, well, actually, because so. they're on the... That it'll be on the a bias. A lot of them so will be on the bias. Yeah, so it's yes. going to give you yeah. that ease anyway. Which is why I wouldn't really suggest worrying about grain line and so on with this. They're small enough pieces. You can do so if you want for the larger pieces. Yes. But a lot of this will end up on the bias. Okay. So then you just sew. Let's look at this. Let's look on where that is on this. Um, so if I take it, cushion. take it apart again, that is that corner. Okay. So you, what's the, what's the, because we'll just talk through the next bit. We've only got a couple of minutes. Okay. So you then sew all of those on those. No, what I would do is make four like this. So I'd sew these two together into a pair. Right. Make another pair, another pair, another pair. Okay. Then I'd sew two together side by side. Right. So it's two, like quilting. You're making a, a column or a is. row of them. And another thing. two together side by yeah. side there, and then join those. Okay. So then you've got your front of your cushion. The front exactly. of the cushion is done. Have you... There's no quilting on this, is there? Could you no, quilt it if you wanted to? you could to? do. Absolutely, you could do. Yeah. And then what have you... Then you just lay... So inside there, inside the cushion, behind the cushion pad, are just your raw edges, are they? Or have you I put actually lined it with another spare piece because I felt there was so much left over. Oh, OK. So, so uh, if you open this cushion... We won't do it, but if you open that cushion out, there's a piece there's of fabric, piece of so there's no raw edges. Yeah. And yeah. then did you... Uh, you bagged out through the... Um, I bagged it out through the open... Envelope back, Envelope yeah. back. And you can use any scrap fabric that you've got for the lining of that because it won't be seen. Yes, no, of course. Um, and but then... what I did find, because when I was designing it, it all looked really smart. Yes. And I had a go at it. But as often you find when you're designing things, in, the, in practice, they look at differently. Yeah. And when it was finished, I thought, 
for a beginner, joining all these points is going to be the hardest bit. So you can do it and that's fine, but let's go for something that will help. I also felt, having designed it, that there was no focal point yes, somehow in yes, the middle. Yeah. So what I did with this one was just use a self-cover button and covered it with a little bit of whichever fabric you, you choose. So in this case, I've done a, a purple just cover one. button. We've got cover buttons there. Um, 19 millimetre there, you get five of them, pack it for two ninety nine. How big? How big are yours? 22, I think. Oh, yeah, these are slightly bigger. Yeah. Yours is slightly bigger. Yeah. Just we're, we're, we've got 22, but they're not in stock at the moment, yeah. So you just fold the fabric over the top part, push the bottom yeah. part in, it pinches. But you could, if I you didn't want a button, you could do anything. You could applique you could something do, into the middle if you wanted you could, to. You could do a Suffolk puff. Oh, yes. You could just use a button. A pretty button. Yes, yes, exactly. Um, I don't know if I bought any. Oh, no, don't, don't you worry. Could, uh, you could just use a pretty button. No, I don't think I've brought them out here. Um, you should a, a little... go everywhere with pretty buttons, do you? <laughs> I have so many buttons you wouldn't know. Um, I collect, I, well, to collect them, I do use them, but if I see a lovely button, yeah. I have to have it. Oh, no, that's like Anne in my village. If when some, oh, I haven't got one today. When I've got shirts with different cut, but, colours buttons, she goes, when you finish that shirt, I love those buttons. Yes, and you cut yes. them off and she puts them on cardigans and things like that. Um, so you can make two of these. So how much was it? How much was the bundle? Twenty-nine pounds, were they? Twenty-four. Now, if you went to a designer shop or any boutique shop, you can pay just two bits of fabric sewn together with a cushion pad in more than twenty-four pounds, couldn't you? And yet, this if you made that as a gift for somebody. All the workmanship that's gone into it and the love yes. that's gone into it yes. and everything—it's just fantastic. Particularly if it's for an anniversary or a golden wedding or birthday yeah. or, you know what I just think it's a lovely a lovely pattern um and there's, there's a lot of um monochrome yeah oh yes yes about there yeah. anyway so that one works quite well for them no no they, well they all I think all three of that all, all three colors look really I love the, the amethyst one I think the ghost colors are beautiful but I'm a purple girl yeah oh you like purple as well yes, makes me very spiritual oh does it yeah regal oh, and right. spiritual it means right I haven't got any I've got any time left I've got to go and do bundles. So oh, okay. you finished your first show. Oh, thank you. How did you enjoy it? Very much so. Thank Will you, you come thank back? Thank you for your help. If you invite me, I would love oh, well, to. Well, you've already got dates, so we know you're coming back anyway. <laughs> thank you so much. It's been an right. absolute joy to see you. I'll see you out there in a few minutes. I've just okay. got to go and do bundles That's and I'll finish. Right. I don't thank have to take anything with me, just this. Right. Diamond, first of all. Here we go. So here's the bundle. Half a metre of each of those linears. Uh, plus your thread, plus your instructions, which include the templates that you've just seen uh, Sally using. Uh, 24. Right, when you've all checked out your baskets, more than half the stock will have gone. And of course, we're going to repeat, don't forget, in a minute. In three minutes' time, it all starts all over again. So please, please, please be careful. That's the diamond. Amethyst, which is my, well, I'm, I'm saying it's my favourite. I do like the blue fabrics together, but I haven't seen them put together yet. There are images inside here of what they look like. You see, I do like the blue one made up as well. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, anyway. <laughs> I've been talking for four hours. I need to sit down. Um, so you get half a metre, half a metre, half a metre, half a metre, all the spray times. You get the thread and you get the instructions. 24 99 And don't forget, there's enough in there to make two cushion fronts and two cushion backs. And Sally also lined the back of her, her foundation paper piece in with the same fabric as well. And enough for, for Hannah's mistakes. 24 99 So that makes it £12.50 a cushion, really, doesn't it? Plus, less, less, because you've got... Anyway. The Adequator rulers are currently out of stock. I promise as soon as they come back in, we will let you know. Uh, the uh, Topaz one, Madame Bahia, London Blue. Yeah, I think it should be Sapphire as well, but... Sky Blue Topaz, London Blue Topaz, Swiss Blue Topaz and Madame Bahia Topaz. That's just my, you know, my interpretation. Plus, so you get two metres of fabric, the thread and the instructions for £24.99. Don't forget, it's free PMP all weekend long until Sunday evening. Sunday at midnight. Sunday at midnight. Finishes at Sunday on the dot of midnight. Uh, and so what? Old terms and conditions are now on the website. About time. Coming up tomorrow with me, John Scott. Simple bag. Oh, Janice is back. Simple bag making with Janice Hobbs. Nine o'clock, we've got irresistible quilt kits. Ten o'clock, we've got the kids' summer wardrobe with Janice. And oh, now, 
11 o'clock. Uh, now, I, I need to tell you, 10 o'clock to 10.45 is Janice, and then 10.45 till 12 is Westerly Rulers and Accessories. Just so you know. Oh, and if you want to turn over now, turn over now. She's about to come out in her dress. Um, I'll see you. I'm going to run to the telly now. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Enjoy the rest of the day. Enjoy the wedding. Don't get too drunk. Um, remember, check out your basket. That's very important. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8. Join us on Monday the 21st of May when dressmaking expert Amanda Wyatt shows us how to make an on-trend cold shoulder top. Just in time for sunny skies, this pretty top is a breeze to make. To emphasise the feminine flared sleeves, we've selected silky satin fabrics featuring springtime blossoms including magnolia flowers, daffodils and lilies. Amanda takes us step by step through the process, sharing her professional tips to ensure every detail is sewn to perfection. So tune in for an hour of springtime dressmaking, Monday the 21st of May at 9am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 687.